Hello, greetings and salutations. I'm Jason Carl from White Wolf, and welcome to Seattle by Night, our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle. This is episode seven, the penultimate episode in our story. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. A story about vampires <laughs> who are no. evidently in denial. That's how we like our vampires around yeah, here. Exactly. I think we should probably meet the vampires who are in denial. Oh, well, uh, hello. Uh, my name is Jameson Keene, and I'm in denial. Um, but not about being a, a dapper gentleman. Everyone else is in denial of that fact because I'm not at all. I'm moist. Hmm. Hi, I am Melissa. Okay. Um, my name is Dora, and I'm playing Amanda, and she did not sleep with Anthony. <laughs> and Near. she's an eternal student Smart. and daddy's girl. That's her. So. I wonder how long it's going to take for that rumor to get around the Kindred grapevine. It's, it's already really there. Bad. The texts it's have been sent. Yeah. 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 Tom's been texting everybody <laughs> yeah. from his picture. That's what I thought. And really, it's going to be Tom's. It's probably people. like yeah. some nasty dude. That no, Evangeline that already knows. 911 yeah. to everybody. you got to know. 411. Oh, the 411. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl Bular. I play Betty, our wild bootlegger, and there's actually 4,000 more episodes of, the, of this. We're meeting for the next 4,000 weeks. That's right. We'll so never the stop. The previous I'm, information was I'm, incorrect. I'm We're going to be <laughs> together forever and never separate. <laughs> Ever. Ever? Again. Cool. I'm Mike. I'm playing um, Tom Hollandaise. And uh, he, you know, you can't spell vampire without pi. Oh, you can. Y- you can. It's. But the letters are there, and they are in order. Can't you spell it without pi. Move. I look. I feel like that's very provisional. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I respect you, but yeah. Also, you're it's true. That's fact. So, feel this is an un- untested assertion. Uh, Submit the proofs. I, I'm not going to write it out. I know. There's a p. There's an i. There's an e. It's all in there. All right. In the correct order. Pretty close. You Vampire. keep saying it, but <laughs> well, ours, ours is right there. I mean, you know, if you take out other ours letters. Are silent. <laughs> sometimes ours are silent. Yeah. Give me an example. <laughs> uh oh. So what's in store for our chronicle today? So I was changing the subject the other day, yes. and I was saying, how about those vampires? Let's have uh, some uh, housekeeping and then a brief recap. Well, actually, recap first and then housekeeping. <laughs> so when we last left our protagonists, they had just survived a tense encounter with Vincent Gravenstein. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nosferatu. Oh, a Nosferatu. <laughs> With a wow. deviated method, method acting. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> that hurt. A Nosferatu whom they had rescued from Torpor several nights previous aboard the derelict freighter, the Comet. And that's, in fact, where they met him. They had words. There was violence. There was uh, dismemberment. And there were favors. Lots of Vincent fear. Gravenstein may be scary, but he owes you a favor. You're on the good list, mm-hmm. right? He knows who's been naughty and nice, and you're on the nice list. So that's important. Right? right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll for take sure. It. You also discovered that you are somehow caught up in the middle of some strange intra vampire factional conflict that's that right. nobody seems to quite understand. There's hits being called on vampires for, in strange ways, there are plans within plans, and nobody's really sure who is on whose side. Right? Right. Mm. Okay. That's, so. that's our experience. You have a lot of clues, but none of them seem to point to a direct answer yet. Maybe that will change. We pick up the action the same night, just after the encounter with Mr. Gravenstein. Amanda has received information that her father, Mr. Booker, mm-hmm. the entrepreneur and the wealthy investor, who was wounded. Slash ghoul. Slash <laughs> Ghoul. Ghoul, yes. Like sometimes ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes ghoul. Part-time ghoul. ghoul. It should be on the business card. It should be. Inventor. Part-time ghoul. Uh, <laughs> philanthropist. Ghoul. <laughs> ghoul. <coughs> International ghoul of mystery. That's exactly. There we right. go. Your father was wounded in the attack on the Elysium. You, thinking quickly, got him to a hospital where he received medical attention. Mm-hmm. And you received uh, communication from his driver and executive assistant, Mr. Bixby, that although your father is on the mend, he has been visited 
by Mr. Kendrick. By three spirits. A true vampire. <laughs> three vampire spirits, possibly. <laughs> so your intent was to go check on the situation. Yes. Let's do some housekeeping first. Okay, we are in the middle of the night, same night. So Jameson has taken three superficial health levels of damage. Mm-hmm. Amanda is at one ag and two superficials. And we have zero hunger on Jameson, one hunger on Amanda, and one hunger on Betty. Four on Tom. Super it's hungry. tough for Tom. It's time. Yeah. It's very difficult for Tom. You get something Tom. to eat. If Tom makes it to five, he will be in immediate danger of frenzying and losing control of his direct mm. Seems bad. Mm-hmm. Probably bad. Okay. Probably bad. Try so. to avoid that. How you want to deal with your wounds and yourself. your hunger yeah. is, of course, your <laughs> decision. Good. And you can do that now. Before you go to the hospital, you can do it at the hospital or as you see fit. I just, I, What's your pleasure? I prize the zero hunger too much. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with zero hunger, like, to the degree it's that... like that satisfaction feels good. To the degree that... I think that it negatively impacts other parts of of my play. So you're not going to fix those superficial wounds? I love it so much. But your face is all <laughs> fucked up, right? It you was got, fucked up anyway. It's like, that's who would true. know? That's true. Who would know? We all avoid looking at it, so it's like, we'll just continue to right. avoid looking at it. <clears throat> it's just, it's sunk costs. <laughs> at this you know, point. At this yeah. point. We have to get you a meal, for sure. Yeah, I need to eat something. Dry I, I can probably make it till we get to the hospital. I don't know how far that is. It's about not, 15 minutes. Okay. Oof. Not too far. Oof a doof. <laughs> uh, no, we'll be all right. I can make it to the hospital. Okay. There should be plenty of people to eat there, right? Well, there's, there's at least, like, fresh blood, I imagine, in bags. Can you just, like, go into rooms where people are sleeping and bite them and drink their blood and stuff? I'm sure it's fine. Well, yeah, yeah. There's... I'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, there's a whole predator type that is built off. Oh, um, yeah. it's kind of metagaming. But, yeah. yeah it's a, it's a, it's a, think of it as a buffet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so is your boy uh, Bixby going to roll us in? Can you uh, just actually, take uh, something uh, Bixby? Yeah. No. You, <coughs> what if we ask nicely? I don't think he I would. would I don't yeah. think he would be okay Do you with think that? he would He's eat Taco me, Bell but. first? <laughs> you want to go through a drive through Well, well no. If he here. eats Taco Bell <laughs> and then I bite him. He's not here. He's at the hospital. Um, yeah. uh, I have well, a driver. Can we bring him Taco Bell? Still Do we know what he likes? Right? You yeah, have a car. I, like. I don't really like I have a car. Okay. I have Giovanni's car. Yeah. You have a late Here's model. Some crunch wraps to bring. Yeah, let's bring in some crunch wraps. It looks good. Some double deckers. And it looks good while you are in it. Because, of Perfect. course, you are still wearing the borrowed style yeah, wardrobe. Yeah, so I'm still looking fantastic. Mm-hmm. I, those little uh, cinnamon twists. Yeah. <laughs> they say that some of the nacho <laughs> cheese actually enters the bloodstream. Get so. that Dorito shell. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, well, if we can drive through and stop on the way, I will show up at the hospital with a sack of Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Just for whoever I can find yeah. to eat it. Tacos, hot yeah, sauce. Yeah, let's do it. So okay, mild sauce. Into my car mild and sauce. My Taco Bell. What about those little potato puff things they serve? Right. To well, no, I mean, they used to... Listen, I'm toasting. <laughs> we don't have time for this conversation. <laughs> he, he can. We can he, 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 you don't want to play it. a game today? <laughs> you don't want to engage him on a discussion of the Taco Bell menu. Just, just trust me on this. But I have some talk, serious feelings. You won't be able to taste it unless it enters their bloodstream. So it has to be something like alcohol or narcotics. I'll figure something out. Or, okay. Yeah. Just rub it on them. <laughs> yeah. I'll get it in there. <laughs> Might just, just be of psychological it. benefit. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I mean, it. A lot of times, I'm not a doctor, right. but like Agreed. people, people will put things up their pooper. What? Sometimes it happens. You put things up your pooper to get them into the bloodstream, right? I, 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 I guess. I mean, you know, it's not something I think about a lot. Well, Amanda, you're a medical student. Is <laughs> Do you that think that would work? Mm. Is so, this an acceptable vector? Yes. For the crunch wrap So, so Amanda's saying, gonna I try. I wouldn't use a crunch you're wrap. You're gonna try to. I use something soft like a burrito. Figure out the best way to get flavor into the blood on the way to the hospital. <laughs> kind of process that problem. Sicko. I, 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 I myself <laughs> okay. do not. I, I do not patronize the establishment. Although I understand, I have sources uh, that the chili cheese burrito. Mmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> has its virtues. Yeah. Seems like it might be a great experiment for Tom, you know, over the course of nights to try to find <clears throat> different ways to get Tom's the right ready. flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of trial and error. Dude, yeah, he's... Now? This picante sauce, but not that one. It's just science. This salsa this verde, but not that right. one. You know, right. in different degrees. Right. How much block like can a, you pack into a book? Right. <laughs> like a chemistry experiment. It's just yeah. science. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the conversation that uh, occupies your time during the 15 minute drive <laughs> to the hospital. <laughs> oh awesome. God, I'm gonna flat And you, you, do in, you do in fact stop for fast food, yeah, right? Yeah, stop through Taco Bell. Through Taco Bell, which you've Couple got bags. the sack of, yeah. of, uh, yeah, of delicious fast I edge fast food. away from these, you know, increasingly uh, steam moistened plastic <laughs> bags. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I already was not fond of that no, type of food, Jameson, good. but no. after the conversation <laughs> of this car ride. No, there um, were details, uh, madam, that I've, I'm having a very difficult time oh. uh, relinquishing. I Maybe guess people aren't allowed to ask questions when they're new vampires. No, I'm sorry. No. I, it's not just about to know everything. It's just Rough. sometimes you're so graphic, Tom. Pardon me <laughs> for being inquisitive. It's just there are locales uh, I had never once considered as a venue for guacamole. Until this evening. I would have rather not Can know. I roll to find out if we put guacamole <laughs> up someone's ass? <laughs> <laughs> will it go My enter, biology will, class is Will it enter the bloodstream? <laughs> yes. Here's what we'll do. Uh, I'm going to have you make... Do you see what you've fucking done? I'm you invited you me on this Look at what you have wrought. <laughs> I'm going to have you make two rolls, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, while you're on your way okay. here, and then we'll, we'll <laughs> move along the scene to the hospital. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> intelligence and um, science with a bonus for biology. Uh, okay. Uh, and then I have one. Mm-hmm. Hungry. See, this, you do this. Oh, you need the anodized. If you I want do. to find success in the endeavor. We're looking for only three successes. This is a moderate challenge thanks to the magic of the internet. Ah, uh, two. Two, Can two I successes. Do power? <laughs> you if you feel this is an acceptable problem. Tom's like willpower. really asking Amanda, like, what do you think? Like, <laughs> yeah, she's it. just like. Would it work? I mean, you went to college. <sighs> yes. Yes. Okay, second roll uh, is going to be. Um, Intelligence and academics. No bonus for your specialty, though. It doesn't apply. I, I respect the hell out of you. <laughs> you know? Oh, it's the same. Seems like a fair question, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, imagine being forced to give up the taste of all food. Yeah. And yet. Two. Two successes. Okay. So, between leaving <laughs> the Port of Tacoma, <laughs> stopping at the fast food drive through and arriving at the hospital, you've done some quick internet research, you've argued the pros and cons, While so I'm set driving. up a few experiments. <laughs> Pretty good. One <laughs> hand on the wheel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Driving with your knees. Your yes. Yeah. Yeah. Driving with your knees, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the time you pull into the hospital parking lot, you've arrived at the conclusion that um, probably not going to affect the bloodstream. Uh, but, but, and but. that's that's the functional part of this conversation. Right. Obviously. <laughs> there is a but. Exactly. There is a scientific experiment that suggests that flavors can be mixed chemically and added to the bloodstream to flavor the blood. Now, this is an experiment that has been conducted in in let's say obscurity. Mm-hmm. No one seems to know what the practical application <laughs> of it is. Right. Right. <laughs> But the, um, uh, the company providing the funding for this is called Pentex. The P-E-N. only thing that I've seen Mike write yes. down. <laughs> it's not true. I have pages of notes. <laughs> it's, an obsc- it's an obscure scientific report. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's dated almost at the beginning of the functional internet. It's that old. Right. You know, it's practically a human generation ago. But there was a serious experiment into this very question. Tom just thinks that Amanda's like the smartest person. <laughs> she like says, you've I used this X ray machine. Some bad news. <laughs> like, Every one of us <laughs> yeah. thinks that she is some kind of <laughs> wunderkind. <laughs> yeah. Genius. Well no because yeah. every time we were like, hey, run this dev- run this right. medical device. Yeah. Oh no problem. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. I put on a lab coat and it just Works. 
So Tom, hospital. Tom wrote Pentex with a ballpoint pen on his arm. <laughs> Got a tattoo it on there yeah. so you don't forget. Yeah. That reminds me. I didn't ask at the beginning of the evening. Tom doesn't really have any kind of portable tattoo kit, does he? Does he have the means to do a to do a tattoo on the road? Probably yeah, not with him. Not with him. No, I think that he would have to prepare for something like that. Okay, but you have you have your. I think he has a kid and, and everything. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. sure he does. Yeah, yeah. So maybe Paul, maybe Paul at the hurt locker. Yeah, at the shop, it's yeah. in his locker or whatever. Okay, cool. Duly noted. Just let me make a note. Index, huh? no, does, re- no reason I'm asking. Does he ever work at night? Like, does Tom still work? I haven't gone into it much. Well, I was going to say lately, we, I mean, the last week has been very busy. I think is, is accurate yeah. to say. Um, but in his in his backstory, he goes and does like conventions and stuff, and he's yeah. big with bikers. There's a lot of people mm-hmm. who want his work, like in the sort of yeah, he's got notoriety, right? Yeah, it's like, on the gram. Yeah, it's like his his gram looks good. It's it looks got really great pieces. Okay. Yeah. So hospitals tend to be quiet places, right? They are in neighborhoods where noise laws are strictly enforced to keep the neighborhood calm for the benefit of the patients. It's almost a relief maybe to be in a neighborhood where things aren't tr- shooting at you, yeah. trying to kill you, falling from the ceiling, screaming. Black trucks. L- limbs being torn off, SUVs loaded with armed goons. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not a bad feeling. No. The silence is broken only by the occasional ambulance siren, of course, speeding on its way to deliver the injured to the hospital. Now Amanda, you've been here before mm-hmm. and you know the way. Mm-hmm. Hospitals are bright places. There is a lot of light mm-hmm. and a lot of reflective surfaces. Mm-hmm. This is very bad for me. Um, say, uh, there's also video cameras. Which yeah. I don't well, show no, up on video no, cameras. No, I was just going to say, <laughs> but I mean, the truth is, is that this is a private moment between you. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure the rest of us would even expose ourselves to that. Mm-hmm. Although, you could go as backup because you're not subject to these methods, right? Well, if and, and feel free to correct mm-hmm. me. I do, sh- like, isn't it that I show up distorted on cameras? It's so like that's weird, a great or? question. The La Sombra Clan Bane um, is mm, multi-level or multi-layered, mm-hmm. right? Depending on your blood potency, it's more severe. But in your case, it means that you... Show up as a weird, distorted reflection in mirrors. I wouldn't be invisible. And oh. on, um, well, it's weird enough that it's probably not noticeable to most people unless okay. they're looking for it. And if the same effect happens to recorded mediums, so security cameras, photographs, whatever. Oh. Now, now, Kindred, who might know what a La Sombra is and what to look for, could possibly understand what they're seeing. Mm-hmm. If they've never encountered a La Sombra before, they probably wouldn't notice at all. And we all know what happens when you try to mess with modern technological equipment. There's a good chance I might that you kill screw it there. up. Oh, yeah, we, we don't want you oh, walking by. Like a pacemaker. <clears throat> we don't want you walking by any of those, like, trees. Mm, you, probably, you probably have to touch it. Yeah, so. I have to, like, Okay, okay, okay. And, and, it's not, and it's not all equipment. Mm-hmm. The more complicated the equipment, the more profound the effect. Right. Let's get you in that MRI right. room. <clears throat> yeah. Didn't, didn't affect the x-ray machine, for example. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's something to consider if we want to make sure that Amanda has some kind of backup. Okay. We don't actually know what this is. Mm-hmm. We don't know if Kennedy is in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, or Kendrick, Kendrick or any of the people yeah. that we know about. We don't know what this is actually about. I would be more comfortable if somebody was with her. I'd like to go in. Oh. Can I Can I go with her? Is that cool? I mean, yeah, you're hungry, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, have, I wanted to ask some doctors about some stuff anyway, so. Oh, All right, okay. I'm just, I'll go with you. Okay. So, I'm going to wait in the car. So, Jameson, and what about Betty? You're going to wait in the car. Yeah. I don't know. Would you guys like for me to come with, or should I hang back? Um, I think somebody should stay with Jameson. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I trust you kids to hold down mm-hmm. the fort. We're going to be great. Yeah, I think we're going to do awesome. It's going to be yeah. fine. I can't wait. Sitting in the parking lot, you're able to take stock of your surroundings. For sure. One of the things that you notice strikes you. Ow. As you're uh, <laughs> as you're looking around the neighborhood, the hospital is across the street from Wright Park, which Sergey mentioned to you. He did indeed. Oh. He said that was the location of his his dead drop, his letter drop. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> something to note. Is there any is there anything in the way of stationary back here? In the car? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. It's not your car, Amanda. No, it's. But not. I'll bet there are leftover napkins from um, the Taco Bell. 
Oh yeah. I think it's, I think it's worth putting a note in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So why are you composing the note? Yeah. I'll give you one of my eyeliners. Yeah, perfect. I have my purse. Eyeliner yeah. and a napkin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Classic. Tasteful. And before okay. they leave, I tell Tom, I say, you know, I used to volunteer in a hospice ward. Mm-hmm. I can relate to those people a little bit better, but I think that's where you should maybe look for food. Oh. oh. Those people are in a lot of pain. And right. It might be nice. Yeah. Put a amino a up there. Mm. Don't, don't Bite do them. that, please. Well, we'll figure something out. Okay. Yeah. You're leaving the truck with the. Oh my god. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm taking the bags in. Well, yeah, I know. I, I do. I just now. With you, right? Yeah. I just now put it. Okay. We both have business to conduct inside this hospital. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I mean, he's he's an entrepreneur. Like he's trying his own experiments. Mm-hmm. And he's, yeah. He's really. He's I territory. Yeah. was once a little bit scientific. Really? Yeah. Huh. Once abroad, I specifically tried to feast only upon people that had mosquito bites to see what all the hubbub was about. Mm. I couldn't tell what. No. The, yeah. Nothing. Couldn't really tell. Difference. No distinction. Nothing. I don't huh. know. But yeah. you know, mosquitoes are predisposed to go for certain people, but I they can't are. taste the difference between them. Interesting. So. Interesting. Oh, the idea that it would be sort of like a. They must what know where they the find good so yeah. yeah. What's the big deal? Interesting. That's our Beatrice. So. I thought so, I mean, too. I mean, I know Amanda, there's but prob- I There's probably a scientific <laughs> paper that she, she wrote, an essay mm-hmm. in some Camarilla library somewhere, mm-hmm. hidden away among the, the, the forbidden documents. knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> the X <clears throat> collection. All right, go get him, kids. The Z collection. Thanks. So, into the hospital. Mm-hmm. Bright lights, the stark... Uh, black and white, almost, uh, what, is it, what is it called, a duochromatic uh, color scheme of, mm-hmm. a, of, a, of a place of, uh, of medical attention. Mm-hmm. The stench of antiseptic. Ooh, nice. nice. Yeah. And, of course, personnel in those sensible white rubber shoes and hospital scrubs hurrying to and fro purposefully. Amanda? You know the way. Yeah. So do you head straight for your dad's room? Yeah, I head straight for my dad's room. Like, uh, and I say to Tom, I'm like, I, I just need to go straight to see my dad. Are you going to, like, hang out? Or do you want to Is there, like, an um, information counter? There is. From the lobby, you can see the, um, uh, you know, the main nursing station, which is the information counter and help desk. You see the entrance to the hospital chapel. You can see the door, swinging doors that lead off to... Uh, places where people get um, scans and yeah. tests, and, and uh, of course, there's a surgery, uh, you know, an emergency room entrance not far from here. That's yeah, right. you know what? You go see your dad, and I'll meet you right back here in the lobby. Sounds good. All right. Where are you headed? I'd like to go to the information yeah, desk. Yeah, the main, n- main nursing station help yeah. desk. Um, hey, yeah. What can uh, we do for you? Yeah, I need. I'm. I'm supposed to go give blood. I have to. Get, where do you draw the blood from? You're here pretty late for that. They usually. You know, You're not my dad. Stop at six. Oh. No need to be hostile, sir. All right. Where is it at? Um, she points to the double doors that lead to the testing labs. Um, go ahead and follow the signs. There's. Um, you'll see white signs on the wall with a big blood drop and an arrow. Perfect. Just, just follow those. I think they're closed, though. I think you're too late for today. Well, we'll see. It's usually a nine to five kind of thing. You know what? It's really very generous of you. I got a lot to give. I'm a giver. That is an excellent attitude. We really appreciate it. It's so needed. Are you okay? Yeah. You I got my little... Taco Bell. I'm fine. Mm. Well, just keep that out of any of the um, uh, you know the waiting room. <laughs> I'll see you. Yeah. <laughs> and and then I, I dart off through the double doors. Like a shot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you are going to follow them. I'm looking for the blood, wherever they draw the blood Wherever from. they draw the blood drops. Looking yeah. for the blood drop yeah. signs that lead you through the labyrinthine corridors of right. the hospital. I hate these places. I can yeah. smell this imaginary Taco Bell Mixing congealing in those bags in real, in real life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You get some strange looks from hospital personnel, doctors, nurses... Um, assistants and volunteers, technicians as you pass by. But sure. no one, since you look like you know what you're doing, yeah. no one stops you. Okay. Uh, just move. Yeah, I mean, is it closed? It is closed. It's a nine to five kind of thing. They don't do evening withdrawals, but um, it isn't locked. Oh, I was going to say, I mean, I'm. In other words, there's nobody in the room. Okay. Yeah, I would just like to Let look around, in. make sure nobody's, you know, in either the hallways here and then mm-hmm. slide in. Slide yourself in. Yeah. Okay. 
What are you looking for in there? I am looking for bags of blood. So what you'll find are refrigeration units. Yeah. That have um, you know, f that are full of bags of blood. Okay. The difficulty, of course, is that once blood is removed from the body, it's subjected to all kinds of different treatments. It's <laughs> spun in the centrifuge. Mm. Platelets are separated. Hemoglobin um, uh, is separated from the other elements of the blood. So it's not always nourishing because you need the whole thing. You can find a supply of bagged blood, though, that you think isn't fractionated yet. Pre-spun. And do I see one of these centrifuge machines? Yeah, it's, um, well, there are several of them, and they're very large metallic machines that have a lot of complicated buttons and dials and things on it. So I don't think I could just put, like, a burrito in there in the blood and push a button? You want to give it a try? Why not? Yeah. You know, you might be able to figure it out. I have two bags. Science? <laughs> I put on a lab coat. <laughs> I'm you sure there's one. Grab around. a lab coat from yeah. the peg and throw it on. Yeah, it's an effective disguise. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, take the top off this thing. Right. So empty one of the bags in. Oh my god, Taco you have, Bell. You have no dots in no. science or technology. No. no. <laughs> so you can hit that button. I really says start. Have with You're me. at four yeah. hunger. Yeah. yeah. You only have an intelligence of two, which is average. Not so great. your hunger <laughs> actually outweighs. The okay. number of available dice you have. This is a desperate attempt. It's a desperate attempt. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's roll one die. Make it a hunger die. If you fail, you go to hunger five. If you Christ! But if you succeed, you will be able to discern, you think, at least how to get the machine up and running and, and mix. <laughs> this is like his last yeah, brain go. cell. <laughs> It's about to fire. We don't I'm look not at, gonna look at it. Don't get the Someone toothy face. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at you, okay. and then that's a good look. Yeah. <laughs> is it a success? <laughs> yes, it is. It's a success. Whoa. I want that tooth. <laughs> like a very hungry vampire yeah. in the middle of a hospital. It just seems like a horrible thing to happen. Doing science. Right. 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 Maybe it's the hunger itself that provides the instinct, of <laughs> rascal <laughs> genius, the forward, insight, the absolute desperation necessary yeah. work, to honey. try to figure out where to put the blood bag, and you're going to actually add taco material to the blood. Yeah, I want to put it all and mix it back mix together. The two. Yeah. All right, so you do what you think is going to work. Shut the lid. Push a button. The machine hums to life. Cut to Amanda. <laughs> So, okay. your father's hospital room. Yes. The room hasn't moved. Right. But your dad has. But he's not in there? He's not in there. He's not uh, in there at all. Uh, okay. There is a young man wearing hospital scrubs pushing a mop around, though. And he stops mopping as you enter. Yo. Hi, I'm, I'm the daughter of um, Mr. Booker, who was in this room. Do you know where he went? He looks at you for a moment. And then it's as though his eyes glaze over. He reaches into the pocket of his scrubs and almost mechanically hands you a note. Hands me what? A note. Oh. A folded piece of paper. I go, thank you. I'm gonna read it. It's very short and direct, and it says, Dear Amanda, your father is safe and he is with me. Come downstairs. And it's signed AG. AG? AG. No, no. And oh no! Yeah. It's your pervert boyfriend. It is. Oh dear. It's not my boyfriend. <laughs> it's not. It's we not told you not to shack up with yeah. him. No, look, he stole your dad. No. Uh, what normal boyfriend <laughs> steal someone's dad? Now, Beatrice, I understand that it's their intention to keep it casual. <laughs> Ah, in my day we didn't do that. But that's because they're in the car talking. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just kibitzing. I'm not certain that boyfriend is the correct nomenclature in this particular case. Well, you know, that Odette, too. Kids these days are so forward, Jameson. Well. She's just like, oh, drink my blood. Let's be an item. In my day, you bought a girl flowers. <laughs> yes. I don't, I just don't know how to process. Anyway, <laughs> this is very good. No, um, she's a fast woman. I try not to judge. The standards have changed. The standards have indeed changed, sir. but I cannot deny the report of my eyes, madam. Be careful. 
Oh, I will. Deny the report of my eyes. It's really good. Um, okay, so I'm like, downstairs? I mean, it's gotta yeah. be like a whole area. Okay, I'll go. So. Just down the floor. You're going to um, leave the hospital room? Yes. Okay. Are you going to talk to anybody, let anybody know where you're going, or are you going to No, go I said I'd meet him in the lobby. Okay. So. And I'm, um, <laughs> and I know, I feel like I, like, yeah, I don't have any issues with Anthony like others do, so I'm like, he's a nice guy, I'll just go meet him, it's fine. Okay. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, eventually, the machine stops spinning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's in there? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's still in the container. It didn't go all over the place, so you yeah. did that part right. Okay. It doesn't any longer have the color of blood, though. It's yeah. still this weird, rusty brown hue that okay. is more reminiscent of maybe like ketchup. Yeah. Rather okay. than thick and rather rich. Than blood. Rich. Yeah. Dick. Who knows? <laughs> You're gonna give it a try. Oh my yeah. god, just, just tip it back thing. over the lab coat? Yeah, just coming down the lab coat. Oh. Oh. I have to admit, in all my time of running Vampire the Masquerade, this has the virtue of being completely untried as far as <laughs> I know. Well, you know, I'm good at something. So so I'm 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 I've been racking my brain trying to decide what is the <laughs> practical upshot of this experiment. What would actually happen? I, I trust your judgment. We need a scientist in here. I think there's a lot of. I think. Th- oh, okay. Yeah. 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 There's so I mean, many things. That however you could decide, th- it's going to be canon after this. Like people are going to be doing this in games. The yeah. pressure. Oh, that's ice. That's ice cold. The dude. pressure. So first things first, we consult Tom's character sheet. And we're going to look at a couple of things. He loves Taco Bell. <laughs> He has two points in loving two Taco, points Bell. In Taco Bell. No, that's Taco Bell. Yeah, no, I have two points in run for the border. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I do have a confession. I did have Taco Bell last night, so. So you, I, this I, is all your fault. She's it. always it's got great. the information so this, this, you know, coterie needs at the precise moment yeah. that we need it. Yeah. So is there any information that you have about Taco Bell, who obviously is a sponsor of the show, right. um, <laughs> yeah. uh, that we can... Please we ring can, a bell. We can let him know. Do you think um, your blood might potentially taste like Taco Bell? At this point, I can still taste it because it's just like it's <laughs> sitting in the back of my throat still. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> it coats. It lingers. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so it soothes and protects. Here's what I'm going to rule. The centrifuge has much the same effect as a food processor on things that are at least partially liquid. So the food, the Taco Bell, is very thoroughly mixed into the blood. Um, Had you simply poured the blood over the taco and tried to eat it, I think that that would not have worked. But I think the two substances are sufficiently combined that if you can make a successful willpower roll at a penalty, to try it, I think you could keep it down. Okay, so the willpower roll so what you'll do is you'll take um, your dice equal to your unspent willpower, mm-hmm. and that is for you five. five yeah. Right. I'm and I'm going it. to say that this is a challenging, a challenging feat. And none of these are hunger dice, though, right? None of these are hunger right. dice. Okay. So you're not going to get hungrier by trying this. Because your roll with hunger dice would be a fuck fest. It would be. Yeah. It would be bad. So this means you need four successes to keep That's it down. A That's a lot. It's challenging. On five. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh! 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 I drank this shit! <laughs> Woo! What? This is. The shake. So good. The shake. Yeah. It's a physical battle, but you win. <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes not quite unlike Taco Bell. I'll take it. I will take it. It's more picante flavored than anything. You, you get a little it. bit of nacho cheese in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, on the back. On the back. <laughs> you get the feeling that <laughs> if you had been less than fortunate, this might have gone very badly and somebody yeah. would be cleaning a centrifuge tonight right. with uh, you know, rags and cotton swabs. But with a feeling of triumph, you managed to clamp down on the <clears throat> impulse. I knew it was mine to revisit over matter. Lunch. <laughs> so, so how how satiated am I? So you uh, you drank it was a whole bag, right? Yeah. So you, you take a point of hunger away. You lose nice. a hunger die. You go from four to three. All right. Yeah. I will hang up That's the a filthy lab coat. My work here is done. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. How is it coming? Time like, consuming. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 it smells like Taco Four Bell and blood. 
<laughs> yeah. Incredible. And then uh, I'll just head back out to the lobby and have a seat. Wait yeah, for yeah. Amanda. Mm-hmm. Still there a little yeah. bit. Mm-hmm. So, you find Amanda waiting for you in the lobby. Meanwhile, back out in the car. They were gossiping. Yeah. They're, they're almost certainly dead. <laughs> it's been at least 20 no. minutes. Uh. We have to let the birds out of the nest at some point and have faith that they'll fly. Now, you don't have a phone, Mm-mm. so you're not the recipient of the text message. Jameson Indeed. is the recipient of the text message. It is from Odette. Oh. And it reads well, as follows. I've, I've received a communique uh, from your uh, paramour. Uh, oh, that part. It reads oh, as follows. Oh. <laughs> Dear Mr. Keen, Mm. period. It may not be for you. (laughs) One moment. (laughs) I hope you're well, period. Oh Oh my gosh. She can be taught, I say aloud, inside the truck. The initial K, Mm -hmm. calling a meet later tonight. Stand by for location. All of us expected. No RSVP required. Hmm. Please give Betty my love. XOXO. Right. Ooh. I put in the vampire, but <laughs> then, but, but then with the like the thumbs up right by it. Vampire emoji. <laughs> so it looks thumbs up. <clears throat> it looks as though the vampire has a massive hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, some clans may. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That may be. A, that may be a feature. It's clan related. Um. Actually, I say I, I was incorrect. Uh, you. I was looking over your shoulder the whole time. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Marvelous, marvelous. Then we need not. Uh, Those we need not invest our time. Those little pictures are cute. Thus. They're Indeed. so. I wish I could. Indeed. They're adorable. Indeed, I was uh, instructed in their use uh, by the youth. Ah. Oh, mm. They're so ingenious with the little things Indeed. they come up with. These Hieroglyphics days. of a sort. Yes. Uh, now, Beatrice. Could I take my leave for but a moment? I will return uh, before you notice I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so I, I have my note uh, oh, uh, that uh, I have written, written an eyeliner on a napkin. Exactly, a Taco Bell napkin. Exactly right. Um, and I I'm going to go over to uh, the base, and the second fleur de lis from the right uh, must be twisted once clockwise and then twice counterclockwise. That's correct. And I'm thoroughly delighted by every twist. Uh, of the fleur de lis, um, <clears throat> and the note the note simply reads, uh, "We really must meet. Uh, perhaps uh, where we spent the evening before." Just, I, I definitely think I got to touch base with him at some point. Just because everything is happening at once now, and I need to. I need to get some value out of all the damage I took from that Shahuli <laughs> piece. Some, some, uh, some events are certainly moving forward yeah. and converging. Um, yeah, you don't have any problem finding the Ibsen statue. Mm-hmm. It's in a place of prominence. Clearly something that uh, is taken care of by yeah. the, the park uh, Take a peek out staff. there, and it's just like, uh, I, have my, I still have my cane with me. And it's like, I, I definitely try to look as though... Uh, I'm enjoying the statue. Oh, it's very interesting. And then I kneel to tie my shoe. Tie your shoe. Yeah. Very clandestinely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the secret compartment operates just as instructed. Yeah. The letter goes in the dead drop, and it easily seals back up. Marvelous. Uh, my shoe tied. Uh, I resume mm-hmm. my business. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Amanda? Yes. Tom? Mm-hmm. Tom looks better. Look refreshed. I just invented I, so vampire I jamba juice. In the lobby. Hmm? So I ran into him at the lobby. In the lobby, as planned. Down. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be rich. And this was, like, I haven't gone downstairs quite yet. Okay. Um, so my dad's downstairs. You look great. Thank you. Uh, I had some. a I had a drink. Nice. Yeah. Good job. Uh, flavor? Taco Bell flavored. Holy shit! Yes, it worked. It did work. God, I'm awesome. a man of science, Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. You taught me a lot. Yeah. I didn't go to college, but you going to college, I feel like, has rubbed like off on me. It. Yes. Right. That's that's awesome. I'm really glad yeah. that you got the flavor that you, Thank you. were looking for. Um, you have to tell me how it went, because I really, like, there's certain things I want to try, too. Yeah. 
I but can I make it all happen. All your wildest dreams. Like a like banana split or something. Easy. Wow. Easy okay. for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, I have to go downstairs because I got this note I show you. Um, it looks like my dad's downstairs. Downstairs. So I'll take a look at the elevator. Mm -hmm. And there's always that like, hey, what's on every floor? Always a directory, right? What, yeah. what do I see Oncology below us? Oncology and the maternity ward and the laboratory testing, the cafeteria, of course. Um, the lowest levels are parking, yeah. emergency room entrance, and morgue. Morgue. How bottom floor? Do you know? It just says downstairs, so I imagine it was just... Oh, no. One? When he says he's downstairs... It does seem like it would be the morgue. Morgue. Right? Like, parking lot seems... I'll like go it. with you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think that's probably a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we go to the morgue. You press the button. M for morgue. Push the button for the lowest level, and the elevator descends. Back out in the car, you have completed your... <coughs> My errand. tryst mm -hmm. uh, with the statue. And return to the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not too long after that that uh, a pair of hospital security guards approach your car. They approach mm -hmm. from the side where you are seated. Mm -hmm. Not to the driver. Taps on the glass. I let down the window. Everything okay? Oh, everything is splendid. Mm -hmm. How are you gentlemen this fine night? Ah, uh, you know, we're awake, it's a thing. Oh, at least yeah. we have good weather. Achievable goals, you know. <laughs> Makes life, you know. It's a secret. Bearable. Of course. <laughs> so, um... Are we not allowed to be idling here? You're good, you're good. We just want to make sure everything was, was uh, copacetic. Uh... But <laughs> wasn't expecting that word from him. Yeah, me either. Hey, I yeah. read. Yeah. He's learned. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Mr. Giovanni would appreciate the pleasure of your company. He doesn't mind visitors, but he likes them to, you know, make themselves known, introduce themselves, and not hang around in his parking lot. Damn, I'm called out. Yeah. Wow. Dang. I put the window back up. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like a lip curl of disgust. <laughs> The two security guards <laughs> step away from the vehicle and they give you about a dozen yards or so, and they sort of hang out, their hands in their pockets. So Jameson's back other. in the car now, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I see. They're Beatrice. talking to each other. Beatrice was. I certainly am no uh, great enthusiast of necromancy, uh, but was there another way, perhaps, to play that in, that uh, encounter? I just don't like how presumptuous he is. Who is this Antony fellow to come and tell me to go? Well, and to be sure, I, I would never be so bold. But he we does can go, own... but I just want them to know we're going on our terms. Not because he sent his two mooks to fetch me, like we... like Tom's Taco Bell <laughs> from the drive through <laughs> window. We, wow. we, needn't, we needn't give them the satisfaction, madam. Let us allow them to stew for a moment. And at a time of our choosing, we will emerge from the a vehicle. power play. Heads held high. Ah, oh, I do so enjoy your styles, Mr. Keene. Well, uh, this line, madam, goes around the block. Mm. Let them wait. Yeah. Done deal. The elevator doors yeah. open mm -hmm. <clears throat> a corridor is short. There's a set of double doors right ahead of you. It just says County Morgue. Vampire hell. Don't go in there. It's not safe. Vampire hell? Really? Yeah. It seems safe. It doesn't seem safe. The smell of cleaning product and antiseptic is a lot stronger down here. Right. Yeah. I think it would be. Mm -hmm. um, I, go, I guess uh, we just go forward. Let's see if they're through those doors. Can I heighten my senses? You absolutely oh. can heighten your senses. Um, you can okay. reach out into the surrounding area of the hospital with all five senses at once. The smell is, is pretty harsh. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to keep it out of your nose, but it's the price you pay, right? Right, yeah. Um, using your eyesight, looking through, you can't see through those swinging doors. It doesn't give you x-ray vision, but you can hear uh, the sound of murmured voices beyond the doorway. 
Let's see here. Um, you've met Mr. Anthony Giovanni. Avoid yeah. the comment. You recognize his voice. Okay. Did you speak to Amanda's father at the Elysium? No, you I didn't. saw him, but you didn't speak to him. Yeah. So there's um, Anthony's voice and two other voices that you don't recognize. Okay. Uh, yeah, Anthony's you're... saying something like, um, just be patient. It shouldn't take long now. She'll be here any minute. Seems like we're in the right place. I think they're yeah. in there. Okay. God, is, is, it not, is it not Kendrick or Kennedy? Is, who's the fucking boss? Who's the boss? Tony Danza. Danza. Kind of, I mean, yeah. aside from Tony Danza. Well, it wasn't Tony, though. I mean, the real well, boss no, was Angela. Yeah, it was Angela. Mm-hmm. You're right. Um, yeah, so I'll push, I'll push open the doors. Push open the doors and walk, walk on in. Mm-hmm. Okay. A morgue is um, a very stark place. It's completely utilitarian. There are no creature comforts here of any kind. Um, the equipment for examining bodies, everybody has seen these, of course, on innumerable television shows and movies. Um, many flat tables, um, and of course those uh, really distinctive metal storage lockers along one wall where yeah. bodies are stored for later, uh, I, would, I wouldn't go so far as to say processing, but certainly later disposal. How on brand. Mm. Yeah. Uh, at the far end, there is a very large set of doors, uh, almost like a pair of garage doors that vehicles could be backed up. To, mm-hmm. for loading and unloading. Um, there are lots of chemicals in glass cabinets, machinery, tools. Most right. of the stuff, you don't, you don't really know what it's for, although Amanda could probably puzzle it out given enough, enough time, given, given <laughs> your track record past, <laughs> yeah. right? Given your track record, your success yeah. rate. Yeah. For it's sure, high. yeah. I could. It's high. So fortunately, your father isn't on any of the examining tables. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm definitely worried about. That's mm-hmm. good. Uh, Anthony Giovanni is here, and your father is with him. Your father is seated in a comfortable chair next to him. On the opposite side of the chair is uh, a tall, athletic man wearing um, a very expensive suit whom you haven't met before. Mm, okay. His hair is a lot shorter and a lot lighter than Anthony's. Anthony smiles. Amanda, you got my note. I did get your note. Um, so, <clears throat> Mr. Hollandaise. Tommy. Welcome to my Tony. hospital. I forgot. <laughs> Sometimes I say my name. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an unusual habit or affliction. It's not. Huh. Oh. Well, anyway, welcome. It's good to be here. Glad you could all make it. So, are you down here to bring these people back to the dead and then? Um, Fuck them. We heard about you, Prevert. Who have you been talking to, Amanda? Uh, and what have you heard? I mean, I've heard so much, uh, but everyone <laughs> is talking, Basically, I say, everybody. Everyone that I know within in Tacoma. In what Tacoma. are they saying? That you fuck corpses. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, not me personally. I don't, that doesn't help, I don't think. No, what do you mean, not you personally? Who did... Who, Hi, You're going to hear a lot of strange <laughs> and uh, unusual and perhaps unpleasant things about my family. I can't tell you that not all of it is true, sure. but I can assure you that is not one of my interests. Okay. Hey. Are you a necromancer? Coming out on top. Hmm, it's very direct, Tom. <laughs> um, yes, I am a necromancer. Yeah, I say we pull a U-turn and get out of here. Well... Allow me to demonstrate. No! Oh, God! Not necessary! Snaps his fingers. Two of those metal doors on the side of the wall where the corpses are stored open. And before your very eyes, two corpses moving with slow, shambling motion extract themselves from the receptacles where they have been stored and stand up on the floor there in the morgue. You can see the heavy stitching that is the result of a medical examination on their chests and their wrists and their arms. Dear Neither God. of them have been dead very long. They're not in advanced states of decay, but they are clearly dead bodies. Yeah, gross party trick. Amanda, let's go. Uh, Dad, do you, you want to get out of here? Father hasn't said anything in all this time, of course. Yeah. Is this a weekend at Bernie's situation? <laughs> he looks at you. Yeah. There is a mute appeal in his eyes. 
But he doesn't respond. He doesn't answer the question. Oh my God. Why, 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 what's the point of this? Like, why bring these people back to life? What do you get out of this? I mean, other than like the sexual pleasure that seems to be. I, I, I assure you, I, I thought I answered this question. I, mean, I, I have no interest it's hard in to that. None at all. You, you know, like all the, I mean, I feel like everyone has secrets, right? And this seems like. Oh, I'm sure they do, in, including you, Amanda. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but, no, uh, you remember that uh, you owe me a favor. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, I think if you search your memory really carefully, you'll remember that we talked about this. I mean, I, th I think that we talked about it. I agree that we talked about it. But um, I feel like also that you were manipulating me. And what a you thing were to say. To make me feel Fuck. Bad about, you know. Fuck. You took me. You. Put me in a limousine out of a hospital, and I could have easily taken an Uber to a hotel. So, as far as I'm concerned, you didn't really save me from a whole lot. In fact, you put me in danger when you drove me in the middle of a gunfight. So, do you really feel like I owe you a favor? Young love. What do you think, Tom? Do you think that uh, the aid that I rendered to, um, to your young friend um, is worth... You know, repayment. I gave her shelter from the sun. I let her stay in my own haven, my own home. She knows where I sleep. That's not exactly a small thing among our kind. I gave her, uh, you know, fresh clothes. Let her borrow one of my cars. I mean, to be fair, I did possibly endanger her by driving back to the museum that was under attack. But on the other hand, I did it to rescue some of your Camarilla friends and got them out of danger. So, you know. I, you, you don't I, have I think the, I'm sick of all this vampire shit where I help no you and now you help me. Yeah, that's how Why don't you just help people? <laughs> you know, Why don't you just save people? You know, it, if it worked that way, no one would be happier than me, Tom. But it just doesn't. I will say that if I did owe you a favor, I've already repaid it. I did not tell Gravenstein your location. So that's that, true. I was there. Welcome. She saved your ass. Mr. Gravenstein wanted to know where I am. So you did see him again. I did. I see. Where was that? Oh, I don't have to tell you that. I already repaid my favor. <laughs> he Tom's just smiling. Looks <laughs> <laughs> meaningfully <laughs> at the corpses standing ready in attention. Mm. What? Are you sure you don't want to tell me? I would really hate to have to escalate this situation. I look over at my dad and I say, is he threatening me? Dad, you're going to just kind of... Uh, allow this man to threaten me? Well, Amanda, I'm really sorry, but sometimes even I can't stop things that are in motion. You should get out of here. You should leave. Oh, he wouldn't you should even go. say it before. He wouldn't even say it before. You should go right now. <clears throat> yeah, we're leaving. We don't know you shit. You get, <laughs> we're turning. Get feet and get out of here? Get out yeah. Of here. Back in the parking lot, mm -hmm. the security guards are letting you take your sweet time. Mm -hmm. One of them has pulled out a cell phone and started to text. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he has. The kids have been in there for a while. I yeah. feel like this Antony yeah. probably has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, there's no doubt. I never favored the look of that man, and quite frankly, I am not upset that you roasted him, as the kids say, back Indeed. on the comment. Well, it was, it Let's was, go check in. It was earned. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as, we, as, we step out of the, uh, as we step out of the vehicle, just the very, very picture, mm -hmm. uh, I ask you, just offhandedly, if you wouldn't mind um, working your magic, or perhaps the opposite, mm -hmm. uh, on this young man's phone. Oh, And cool. then as you do that, I pull my own phone out, and I send a message back to Odette. Mm. And I say, uh, we are entering a uh, hospital uh, owned by Antony Giovanni. Uh, and uh, maybe you'll appreciate uh, the irony. There's a delicious symmetry to dying in a hospital. Uh, and then I just put the phone back in my pocket. Any emojis? Uh, no, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> not this time. And I don't we sign it. added a little she, bullet I emoji. don't even <laughs> sign it, yeah. <laughs> She does text you a reply immediately. Oh, I, I, I'm delighted. <laughs> Four words. Yeah. Fuck. On my way. <clears throat> Marvelous. That had the, I say, it had the intended effect. Ah. Uh, you may want to tune uh, mm -hmm. your coiffure uh, for oh. even now upon the wings of love. 
uh, your girlfriend Do doth okay? arrive. So much of it is muscle memory. <laughs> you know, I can't use mirrors anymore quite like I, I used to, and it makes think it so difficult to... I, uh, without looking, I say, it'll do. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Eat this man's phone. <laughs> As I walk oh, by, right. I just yeah. kind of, like, bump into him oh, and, like, hey. ah. knock the phone out of his hand and then pick it up and say, oh, I'm sorry, and give oh, it back thanks. to him. Oh, thanks, appreciate that. I, I'm not finished paying for this thing yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that plan where it's like I pay a little bit each month, yeah, you know. like a hundred bucks, but... Goodbye! <laughs> It's a no, no. It's a no ten. It's like flickering. No, I'm just saying that it's the word "fuck" just blinking <laughs> over and over again. It's not even my carrier. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, yeah, so, 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 yeah, so we, we just hit the we ground walked. that hard. Yeah, we walk, I walked like, like, very, very like, rapidly. Come on! Yeah. So you guys are coming into the hospital? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Just in case. Shit. Right? So, you are headed in, mm-hmm. into the yeah. main entrance, mm-hmm. the doors. Amanda and Tom have decided to leave. We're trying to head out. Out of here. Out through the double doors. Yeah. Leaving. Back towards the elevator. Back towards the elevator. Okay. <laughs> Anthony calls out from behind you. We followed him. Okay, if that's the way you want it. Be seeing you. You f- make your way to the elevator and return to what? The lobby? Lobby. Yeah. Lobby? Okay. In the elevator, I say to Tom, like, he just seemed like such a nice guy. You never know. Yeah, I know. You never know. know. You never know. The elevator uh, exits at the place. lobby level, and that is where you run into. Well, you recognize Betty. I'm not sure what you look like at this time. Uh, at, the, at this particular time, uh, it's, it's, uh, my my guess is that it's probably like full on orderly scrubs. You have to roll a die that'll for that. Roll a, that'll yeah. require a rouse check. Uh, Do you remember yeah. this time yeah. to I, rouse the power of the blood. Uh, God, it's not even worth it. It's not even. It's worth it. It's worth it. Okay. At zero, you're gonna risk zero hunger. I, I, you can't bring your busted Nosferatu face in there. Well, it's a hospital. Well, I mean, it's, he looks it's a lot of fucked up <laughs> shit. No, no, it's it's specifically because of Giovanni. Okay. Yes. 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 So. You've had a good luck with so these. So satisfied. Yeah. Mm. And it's just nothing. That nah, big, beautiful The beast honk. is silent. Yeah, exactly. So we see Betty in an orderly. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. She's with an orderly. He's got the stethoscope, the scrubs, the little plastic covers over his feet, you know, the Cap. identification bracelet. The yeah, the little magnetic thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just pull, pull it, snap it a couple times. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess we say, I go, Betty and Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> I look at you. Say, uh, Ralph Stevens. <laughs> uh, so Giovanni's after us and we have to leave right now? Ah, marvelous. After you? Uh, yeah, you know how he brings people back from the dead. Well, but for a specific purpose. And have you retrieved <laughs> your father? No, my dad wanted to stay. Real quick. Amanda, you've quite literally seen me ask men to do all sorts of things. Did it ever occur to you that your father may be being held against his will by someone who can do things similar to me? Well, it, it occurred to me two minutes ago when he wouldn't <laughs> leave with me. And I ah. told him, yeah, in that conversation, didn't really. Well, that's not my business, but he may be, what's the word? Insourceful, perhaps. Mm. Yeah, I, I think so, too. Uh, either way, uh, we need to skedaddle. He does me. not just use the corpses for sex. He will fight with them, too. Yeah, he's... I, that's not an improvement. That was the impression that I got. Yeah, we got like a sickum dog Definitely vibe got him. that vibe. Oh, we can't just leave your father there. Yeah, we can, I though. Mean, I think my dad has yeah, seemed to he seemed make okay. his mind up about... He wasn't willing to protect me when I was being clearly threatened, so I'm not really he into protecting so. him. may not have been in a position to. It's at this potato, point potato. where I will have to remind you... I'm obligated. Of course. That he's your touchstone. Willingly endangering him will require a humanity role. Uh-uh. And if he is actually injured or, God forbid, killed, your humanity will suffer and deteriorate. So, yeah. at the moment, you have chosen perhaps discretion being the part of valor, leaving him in the clutches of someone who may or may not be an enemy. I just assume- He hasn't come to direct harm yet. Right. Sorry, what were you saying? I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, I assumed that 
He would be okay because he's already... And he might well be. My point is that he is arguably in danger. And the point. choices you make around him could affect your relationship to your humanity. Not saying they will, but the risk is there. And that is the thought that I will let you contemplate while we go away for a very short time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Seattle by Night, our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle. Episode 7, the penultimate episode with these vampires. When we last left them, we had rendezvoused. It's a good word, rendezvoused. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little bit vampiric, isn't it? Rendezvoused. Uh, in the lobby of the hospital in Tacoma, having just encountered a disturbing situation in the morgue, right? We had Mr. Booker, Amanda's father, mm -hmm. in a strange situation maybe held captive, maybe influenced against his will, maybe a willing accomplice of Anthony Giovanni, right. who produced not one, count them two, walking undead things. An attempt maybe to pressure you into making some decision. He'd asked you to return a favor, but um, you beat feet, you got out of there. Right. Meanwhile, topside, What's going on with you, Betty? Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Mm. We had a little visit from uh, security <laughs> guards. <laughs> no, go ahead. Tell us. Tell everybody. Yeah, no, uh, she had a visit from the Easter Bunny. I yeah. think she has something to say. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> it worked for Tom. Broker. So maybe if you put the if you put the candy bars in the centrifuge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> spin them I'm out. To get you some milk. <laughs> <laughs> Something to cut um, that caramel. I this, destroyed this, her. This happens to vampires occasionally. It you does, know, yeah. When, when I'm they, uh, blood. <laughs> we can wait. We'll wait. It's cool. It's like, I do want to interact with you very desperately right yeah. now. But you can't. It's, it's impossible. No, I mean, to, listen, to her credit, yeah. she did choose 100 grand, <laughs> which true. is the apex of the candy in that bowl. I agree, I agree. I told you her, agree? I said, that caramel's going to fuck you. <laughs> And she's like, fuck you, Dad. She grabbed yeah. another one. Yeah. It's caught on the fangs. Oh, and, yeah. You know, it's a stretch. Oh. Little curtain of yeah. caramel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like when Gravenstein Steam was munching on that, that arm. That arm yeah, stuff. Just, like, yeah. Yeah. Ligaments. Yeah. Snack <laughs> cartilage. Munchable. <laughs> Crunchy. Man, it's really it's a, lot of, a lot of work to get through that, that one. 100 grand is a lot it of work. It is a lot, it, yeah. It's nougat. It's caramel. <laughs> Let's go down the list. Let's go down the list. Get that why didn't you get fruit snacks, sir? <laughs> no, we're talking about chocolate, crispies, <laughs> uh, caramel. <laughs> that, that's basically it. Yeah. But, but you know what I mean. Are you better than anybody? Just a just a sugary landmine for the braces, <laughs> Do you feel like right? Your mouth is still <laughs> so I'm proud of my own coterie. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, that would never happen. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. Not in vampire. No, heavens no. No, no. Everybody's What's above worse board. Is like, you guys kept making me laugh, so then I couldn't chew it. No, <laughs> you couldn't work. So you yeah. couldn't do your forever. work. Yeah, oh, so it's it our did. Fault, huh? Lasted <laughs> a long time. Blaming the other coder man. Yeah. That's still where going. it starts. <laughs> yeah. No, you're gonna be you're gonna be discovering uh, rich veins of caramel <laughs> for the next <laughs> hour. Yeah. In those molars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We it's just did snacks. Mm -hmm. Let's celebrate. Mm -hmm. it's, Anyway, uh, anyway, 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 hospital lobby, strange situation. Oh, yeah. Um, so, what is your pleasure? Uh, Amanda says, um, you think, I, I just assume, I mean, my dad usually knows, I mean, he's usually in charge. I imagine he knows what he's doing. Your dad was not in charge down there. Like, as someone who was a witness, that's not what in charge looks like. I, I say, I've Tom, never met him. But. I say, Thomas, uh, in the absence of any... Uh, warm feelings Amanda might have. Could you very briefly describe for me the scene as you saw it in the room? Uh, you know how when your dog pisses somewhere and then you come in and it looks at you like it knows it's done something bad and it tries Indeed. to hide? Indeed. That's what her dad looked like. And he was and he was left in in this condition. He was yeah, he was scared. Something Would you like for us to leave him in that condition? Or I don't really know the I mean, relationship I don't situation. We could, no, I don't want to leave him. I mean, now that I know that he might be in danger, I just thought he was, I mean, a good. It would be an awful waste. He is a very attractive man. 
Well, that's not why we should leave him. I think. Well, no, no. I'm just saying, like, it would be awful to leave him. Right. Well, he looks I don't like think that should somebody be the, that the should play one your father you on TV, him. not someone that actually would be your father. You know. <clears throat> no, okay. Beatrice. As I suggested before, mm. uh, even now, ferried upon the wings of angels, doth your love arrive? So that, that L word. Mm-hmm. Uh, one calls them as they see them. Oh. Now, uh, she is on her way here with all speed. No doubt an index both of her uh, uh, duty uh, and also the intense feelings that she has for your person. Now, if we walk very slowly to the elevator, it may be that she arrives before we have even pressed the button. Can we even rescue him if he's a ghoul? I mean, Betty, you would know. Can you, if... Yeah, well, but we don't know who, his, who he's bound to. And it, it may might, not be Mr. Giovanni. In which case, if it's not, we can hmm. definitely rescue him. Well, and he did shout, oh. uh, telling you to go. My suspicion is that if he were truly bound to oh, Mr. Giovanni, not do that. my true. suspicion is he may not be able to act so readily against him. Mm. Well, and also, what would his handler, for a more PC term, Indeed. gain by keeping him hostage like that? I think it's safe to assume that. Mr. Giovanni is not. Well, and there, who are, he is certain, bound to. And there are certain things. Right. There are certain things we have been given to understand about his proclivities. No doubt, the fact that your father still lives removes him as a dating prospect. <laughs> An important consideration. I told you he uses the corpses for fucking and fighting. Dual purpose. Oh I mean, God! It's a, you really think that he's gonna with my dad? I don't know if it's the same corpses or if he needs different yeah. things now, out of different corpses. Now that the corpse theory has been proven, we may well we may want to look into if that may have affected. You might want to get you. tested. I mm. I don't know much about this since I don't judge your life, Amanda. And if you want to take <laughs> up with the like, young man, you can. But knowing where he okay, has I been, did it though. I don't know why you guys don't believe me. Okay, we should just go downstairs because it sounds like my dad might be in serious danger. Oh, yeah. Well, Jameson's prediction is <laughs> nothing less than prophetic because it is at this moment that Odette makes her way hurriedly in through the hospital doors into the waiting room lobby. She has traded out her ruined leather jacket for a different and a little bit newer leather jacket. This one's in moto style, right? Interesting. A little bit sleeker, mm-hmm. a bit more motor racing instead of you know, biker style. She did not go for the denim with the lamb's wool. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's, got her, uh, she's got her long red hair tied back in a ponytail ready for fight and action. Mm-hmm. And she looks around the hospital lobby, sees you, mm-hmm. and makes a beeline. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the, <laughs> I'm looking tent, like, thousand yard stare. <laughs> Under my breath, I hum, here comes the bride. Oh, <laughs> shit. Just very smug. <laughs> we all know it. Yeah. She strides up to you, stops in front of you. What gives? Indeed. Aren't you glad to see me? Oh. <laughs> I certainly am. Oh, the hell's wrong with her? <clears throat> you got my message. What's with the emojis? Where to begin? <laughs> Listen. Have you ever, <laughs> and there's, there's no wrong answer. Yeah? Have you ever killed a zombie? A zombie? A zombie. Well, even kill, a may zombie. Not be, kill may not be the Never even the seen a optimal. Zombie. Marvelous. Are those the, a thing? Is that a thing? Indeed. I'm given to understand Believe. there are, uh, they are in ready supply in How this many? very hospital. No I shot at least two. At least two. Zombies? Yes. No yes. way. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, we should go now. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> so let's let's go in and push the M button over and over. Sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah. We'll dial I'm M. fine. Please. Very yeah. happy to see you. Cool. How's your boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend. That's not what I hear. Okay. How oh, is it spreading? Oh, good. <laughs> He's not my boyfriend. He's downstairs currently threatening my father. He's here in the hospital. Father. Yes. He owns it. It's oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. Whoa, this is his place. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. crap! But he but although I suspect he has cameras many and around at the places. mortals, so we're like in his. Yeah. The we mouth, sure the maw of the beast, as it were. The uh, lobby of the beast. But yours is better. Mm-hmm. You know, I heard 
heard my boss Volkov, Mr. Yeah, v. talking about something's. This is this is something. This is something. Uh, I suspect, uh, Mr. This Volkov. Is, yes. This is this Giovanni's place? Yes, one of mm-hmm. them. It makes sense, right? Lots of blood. Yeah. You get drugs you can sell for cash. It's pretty clever. Easy to hide shit here. Mm-hmm. Yes. You want to dispose of something? Super easy. Right. Uh, An endless supply of corpses to fornicate. Interact with. with. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. So it's My true. dad included. We need to go. <laughs> dad is a corpse? <laughs> I, not yet. Of, I don't oh, think Oh, gross. Probably by now, I would <laughs> guess. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh my God. I'm pushing the I'm just pushing I'm the dialing M. dialing M furious. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Elevator music. Do you have your sword? Dun, 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 dun. I do. Always. Always. Oh, your sword umbrella, I should mm-hmm. say. Your brawly. My bumper shoot. Bumper shoot. <laughs> sword bumper shoot. Mm-hmm. Bumper shoot. Saber. Yes. Yeah. Saber shoot. Mm-hmm. Yes. Bumper saber. Bumper saber. Excellent. Uh... In the elevator, Odette checks the action on her nine mil. Mm-hmm. Marvelous. Yeah. All right. So, I don't know really what you mean about zombies, but I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll become apparent, right? Too. You'll know when you see them. Seriously? Trust me. <laughs> Fuck. My understanding is you'll know immediately. I am actually. Like, and your dad's one of them. Interested in how they do no. this? It's kind of interesting, right? <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Hope not. Yeah, I can see that. All right. So, what are we, what's the plan? <laughs> Running, guns blazing. Kill the zombies for your dad, I, get I, the hell out. I think he wanted to speak with us. Let's maybe try to Reason. employ oh, yeah. some diplomacy. Parlay. And now we have Odette right? here, and Indeed. she is very intimidating. Well, it's nice to have and that third-party observer. Exactly. So vital in these matters. Mm-hmm. So before we go in there... And we have information that he wants. He wants to know where Gravenstein scene is, so... You didn't tell him, did you? No. Oh, good. Before we go in there, something you guys got to know about the Giovanni, right? They're kind of like outside the law. They're not part of the Camarilla. They're not covered by our protections. So anything we do to these guys, fair game. You don't have to worry about all those rules that, you know, don't kill each other and blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's great news. Ex- exquisite. Yeah. It's, yeah. Pretty, it's pretty cool, huh? It's kind of <laughs> yeah. terrible. Well, I mean, it's not like they wouldn't get pissed off. And yeah, Giovanni are, uh, you know, they're kind of an important clan in the city. But, um, you know, they're not covered by the insurance policy. I, I, think, that, I think that they'll understand once we, once we explain why. Can we try not to kill them? We can try. Okay. You worried about your boyfriend? No, I just don't like killing people. Worried about a boyfriend. Probably. It's really adorable. Yeah. Yeah. You sure you're cute. okay? You're yeah, I'm fine. How are you? How have you been? You look uh, very nice. I noticed your new jacket. It's hey, the check longest, it out, right? It's, very it's the longest elevator, elevator ride ever. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. People longer. are getting on and getting off. Finally, you reach the morgue level. Doors open. The scene as much as before. The big double doors that open mm-hmm. into the county morgue. Heavy smell of antiseptic and cleaner. Odette. Unless someone stops her, takes the lead and marches right up front. Mm-hmm. We want the local constabulary. Swings the doors open, right? Like she's a gunfighter at high noon, and this is her saloon. Wow. Strides through. The morgue uh, scene is a little bit different. Your father's no longer uh, sitting in the chair. Okay. Uh, instead, your father is standing um, next to you. You remember that um, the gentleman in the suit? Yes. Uh, that the I new one. The new one. Shorter, who, who, cropped, blonde hair. Exactly. The one who is not Anthony Giovanni. Mm-hmm. Your father is standing next to him on the far side of the morgue near those big bay doors that allow vehicles to enter. The two zombies are exactly where you left them. And Betty and Jameson, this is your first look at cadavers. They mm-hmm. have clearly, these people are dead. They're not vampires. Mm-hmm. You can see that, that stitching that the coroner leaves after medical examination. They have absolutely no color in their face because they have no fluids in them at all. And they're wearing those you know, hospital johnnies that are flimsy Ugh. and pale. They're, they, they're, it's grotesque to look at, but they appear to be as described. Anthony Giovanni is um, standing next to the two walking corpses, speaking into his cell phone. And he stops speaking as he sees Odette Good timing. come through the door with you in tow. That's the scene. Marvelous. I, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm waiting for Odette's uh, ante before I commit any cards to this table. I Odette. use my shadow cloak as well as I come in. 
Yeah. Gathering the shroud, the mm -hmm. shroud of night around you like oh, a mantle, yeah. intimidating yeah. and scary. It's like a high collar, and it comes <sighs> nice. down, and then and it looks like a thousand hands reaching towards the floor. Yuck! Dang. Oh. It's supposed to be creepy. <laughs> It sounds creepy. It's working. I see Anthony takes a look at what's happening over there. He gives an appreciative nod. <laughs> I'll call you back. Ends his phone call. Puts his phone in his pocket. Odette sees the zombies for the first time. Holy shit! <laughs> Pulls out a pistol. <laughs> takes really careful aim at one of them. And just holds it right there. Ah, uh, nice to see you all again. Amanda, glad you could, uh, I'm glad oh, you changed Oh, cut the pleasantries, mind. little man. What do you want? You called us down here. <laughs> Hi. Hello. It's nice to see you again, too. Hello. That's, um, that's something. Yeah, okay. Uh, I say, I, I believe it's Versace. I'm, I'm sure he's somewhere in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. Mr. Keene, it's good to see you again. Glad somebody who is reasonable. It, it is seemed like friends. it seemed like bringing uh, the parents down might not be a terrible idea. Well, I can be very reasonable as well. I, I shrug. Here's the deal, then, if we're going to speak plainly, Amanda owes me the repayment of the favor, and I. She explained that she already repaid you. Yeah, done. I'm afraid I don't agree, and I'm I believe. I'm afraid I think we're square, so. I believe I hold the upper hand here. Mm. Your Seems father is my guest and will remain so until such time as the favor is repaid. Now, I'm a peaceful man. I really don't want to employ direct measures if I don't have to. He keeps looking at Betty and then looking away as if he doesn't want to see what's going on with the shadow hands yeah, and the cloak. Yeah. And it's like, it's he a can't lot. quite it's, look at her. It's a lot. It's very intimidating. Mm -hmm. It's very forceful looking. Odette hasn't moved. She's got her gun trained on the zombie skull. This is correct. I think that's the appropriate move, and I wouldn't change a thing. Mm -hmm. So what is it exactly that you want? Two things. One... I'd like you to tell me where you talk to Mr. Gravenstein, mm -hmm. where he is. And two, I need you to help me with another little problem. Things with Mr. Kendrick didn't go so well, as you noticed. <clears throat> mm. I need you to make sure that in the conflict that's coming, Mr. Kendrick is the victor. Mr. Kendrick should be the new prince of Tacoma. It's in my family's interests. And now it's in your interest, since it's in mine. Interesting. <sighs> That's okay. a lot to ask for in return for, quite frankly, throwing a girl into a car and driving her. Oh, right. Two favors. You did one favor. Uh, yeah. I mean, really, now you're wanting a total of three favors at this point. And I don't really see how that's even quite I think even your zombies I mean, honestly, think you're being a dick. Now that I have... Well, you can ask them. Here's what's going to happen. You are going to return Amanda's father to us. Okay. And then we will speak of how we may help your Mr. Kendrick. But if you do not do as such, I will have you know that my wonderful associate, Mr. Keene, has already put certain provisions in place that will ensure that the location of your haven will be revealed to Mr. Gravenstein if anything happens to us. And let me tell you, he is not a force to be reckoned with. I saw him tear a guy's arm off and then beat him with the, his own arm. While chewing While on eating the, the self same arm. <laughs> I've heard he is formidable. He growls sometimes in the middle of a conversation. Petty, I think this is intimidation. Okay. And I think there is it's, it's, yeah. a non-zero sum chance that he might not be intimidated. So let's go with, um, I think it's charisma. Okay. And intimidation. It's only four dice. Oh, don't I get a bonus because of my shadow cloak? Oh, you do, actually. The um, cloak of shadows gives you, is it a plus one? I think so. Yes, yeah, plus one bonus to your intimidation roll. Okay. So All right. This is and of course, five. if you want to risk hunger, you can increase your charisma for the scene. Let's do it. Let's do nice. it. Yes! Success. Smooth. The beast remains caged. Wonderful. And you Tanked. have a much more... 
Wait, attractive right, pool. Wait, where is it? Four. Yeah, that's right, six. Oh, let them have it. We want the high number. Whoa! Jack guy. <laughs> Doesn't count. Here we go. Oh! Ooh. Two. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Oh! Is that a, uh, a, is that a critical? Yeah. It's a critical success. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, Damn. seven. What are you that talking quote about? Is killing it right now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So it is though. It is as though mm -hmm. all the lights in the morgue examination room dim, increasing the darkness and the fearsomeness of the shadows that coalesce around Betty. Now, whether she's doing it or not, you're not sure, but the mantle of shadow around her seems to grow and form an almost wing-like shape behind her, as though she is the angel of death. I, mean, I feel tougher just being around. Mm -hmm. Now, Odette can't see this. Mm -hmm. She's got a gun and eye trained on the zombies, so she's not seeing you being super bad. Mm -hmm. But everybody else in the room sees it clearly. Mr. Booker, color drains out of his face, and he looks like he would like to be anywhere else. This. The blonde-haired associate swallows, <laughs> and therefore what? Probably not a vampire. Mm, yeah. oh, oh, interesting, the gulp. <clears throat> Anthony Intriguing. Giovanni backs up a step. Good. I, as soon as he backs up, I take several confident steps forward and I extend my hand towards Amanda's father. As like, come this way. along. Anthony turns to look at the blonde haired man and just nods once indicating that he should let the man go. Mr. Booker steps forward and takes your hand. He doesn't look the worse for wear. His okay. fine head of silver hair is not too disheveled. Mm -hmm. He could use perhaps a change of attire, but um, we all could. You notice Amanda, now that you can see your father up close, remember those terrible lacerations and wounds he had yeah. for, as the result of the terrible accident with, accident, with the uh, glass sculpture? Mm -hmm. You don't see any evidence of those wounds on his body anymore. Oh. There's a few minor cuts and scrapes near his hairline, but right. that's it. But tasteful, right? Yeah. Well, al almost as though they were couture. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Right. How do you... Hmm. I don't know. And with his hand in mine, I turn yeah. around to everyone, and I just kind of, not even turning around to look at him, tell Anthony, we'll be in touch. And just look at everyone as though, like, let's get out of here while we can. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gosh, mm -hmm. I guess Adette has seen creepy crawly me now. Odette has, in fact, because she's turned her head to follow Mr. Booker, and uh -huh. by the time he, he takes your hand, she's seen the, yeah. look, Maleficent. the look on her eyes isn't fear at all. Oh, okay. It is quite the opposite. You can't lose. <laughs> Man, you can't is, lose. It shouldn't be possible to impress her more, but there it is, stamped all over her face. I figured she would run for the hills. I thought maybe this would, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> that was your, your intent? A little bit, a little bit. I was like, maybe she won't be as forward with me, but I cannot intimidate this woman into submission, so. If anything, you think maybe she's even more interested oh, now. Oh, God. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Okay, so uh, with Mr. Booker, hand in hand, terrified of you, but maybe more disturbed by staying with the zombies. One of my wings is like sort of like he's under my <laughs> wing. Exactly. Wing. Yeah, because oh, I want to give that badass. impression to Anthony. Tucked in. Like, Tucked in. I've taken him under my devilish wing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, you are badass. Just, yeah. just, just give him that so classic badass. iconography. That's going to help the message get over. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. <laughs> Super cool. Then she shoots the zombie in the head. <laughs> Blam! Just had to. Had to try. Yeah, I mean, right? it's a zombie. To see what happens. Is you, it true? Is yeah. it not true? You only get, you know... Well, I mean, around here you probably get a lot of chances, but... Tacoma does seem to be that kind of place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Headshot. It fucks him up. So, the bullet <clears throat> connects with the target, which is the zombie's skull a lot of which disappears into a fine mist of bone and other substances. The zombie takes a lurching step forward and collapses onto the floor of the morgue. <sighs> Was that really necessary, Odette? Really? Those are not easy to make, you know. I, 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 make, a, I make a play of chastising her. Odette. Yeah? Nice shot. 
Bang. <laughs> <laughs> then she turns and shoots the other one. <laughs> she can't. No, she can't help it. I, I, I you've you praised her. I egged you've praised her. Woman no, she's she giving her praise. Wildfire. Besides, I mean, well, she's got to. She's got to impress yeah. Betty, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Uh. That makes sense. Ooh, this shot. Ooh, no, it's time to spend willpower. That's a I was just gonna say, idea. It's, it's, it's gonna come off that metal uh, door. Ricochet, big concern. There we go, that's right. better. Um, We're gonna willpower to impress you. Yeah. This shot strikes the zombie, <laughs> but unfortunately it goes into center mass. The zombie lurches, but still is standing. All right, so we are, we are even yeah. now backing out. Backing mm-hmm. out the doors. While also right. looking behind us to make sure that you're not being uh, ambushed from, from yeah. the rear. Yeah, you aren't. You are able to make it to the elevator without being interrupted. But they, but they got a great thing going here where they mm-hmm. got the morgue set mm-hmm. up and then they can just roll in with whatever they want to vehicle down here in the basement. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, and as we get in the elevator and the doors close, the shadow drops. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, oh my God, Amanda, you are in so much trouble. I <laughs> just, I look exhausted. <laughs> Yeah. Odette puts your gun away. That was so fucking cool. Thank you are you, the Odette. coolest thing ever. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. Yeah. Especially with your father. Yeah, what's the deal? That's your dad? It's my dad. I turned to my dad. I was like, does how does work? it feel to be rescued by me, dad? <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's a new sensation, I have yeah. to admit. And thank you, um, Ms. Lancaster. Whose property are you? Oh, shit. Mm. I think Tom said that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think you know, so. Just right next to him. Oh, shit! <laughs> I work for Mr. Kendrick, and I have for some time. And Mr. Kendrick is okay with his ghoul being held hostage? I don't think he was aware. Ah, you might want to make him aware of such. I'll be placing several phone calls after we safely leave. We're not out of the hospital <laughs> yet. I guess that's true. That is true. We are not. Odette, you still, you didn't waste all of your bullets on those zombies, did you? I'm assuming you have Hell no. Clip. Hell no, babe. I got a clip in my boot. Babe? I got a clip in my jacket. Wow. I'm, 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 as a babe, I look I'm over and up. just raise an eyebrow to Amanda. Like, also just to help her have something else to think about, <laughs> aside from all the family shit. Just like, please. This is when the elevator lurches to a halt. <laughs> oh, God. No, between floors. It. <clears throat> no matter how many times you push the button, it doesn't go up again. Oh, what if we? Lobby. What if we push open doors? Ooh! Thought about, haven't thought about that one. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Well, the elevator begins to descend. Ah. Back down towards. Oh. The no, 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 no! Is there like an emergency stop? Like, yeah, hey, yeah, there's of a. Of course there is. I just punch it. Bam! <laughs> the car halts. You feel it shake on its cable. But it oh. stops descending. We've got to get out of here. Yeah, I'm pushing the door open. Ah. Can we try it open? Give me a hand. Give me a hand. You might have to. Oh, yeah, she can. Right, oh, Odette, oh, Odette yeah. gets her gets her fingernails into the door. Come on, give me a hand, somebody. Okay. I'll help. I'll help. Oh yeah, this will be easy peasy for you guys. All right, Tom. I only, I only have one boy. strength. Well, uh, let's see here. Two. I have two. One, two. Oh, here. One. This, this is Amanda. This is Amandaville. This is Amandaville. Yeah, give it to so, me. So, how many? How? Uh, so what's strength, your strength and what else? Strength is two. There's enough room on the door for everyone to try. Okay, so let's all do it. We'll all of you collectively will give a bonus of two dice. Yep. So you, you won't have to roll. I'll let Odette make the roll. Since okay. she uh, is going to call upon the power of her blood to increase her strength. Ooh, she fails. She yes. snarls a little bit. Mm-hmm. Under her breath, you hear her say, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't have time for you right now. <laughs> So that gives her. I look over at my dad. Cool. I don't know what that feels like. That's a lot of dice. Should I roll for hunger, like with us? Like, should we roll our hunger for this help, or? No, you won't need to unless you are increasing. Unless you are risking hunger to increase your her strength. Pool. Yeah, no, I, I think it's pretty good. Okay, she's got eight dice. That's pretty good. Yeah, she should be able to yank this motherfucker apart. Not a great roll, though. Oh. Time to spend more willpower. She's distracted. Is what it is. She's, mm-hmm. she's flustered. Yeah. We saw her throw an anchor. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know she can do that. Oh. Okay, not so great. Mm-hmm. Only three successes. So she manages, even with your help, you all manage to pry the door open about a foot-ish. 
and you're sort of, you're, you're not quite between floors, but there is a floor open, so there's floor at about mm-hmm. chest mm-hmm. height, so mm-hmm. if you crawl through the door, you could get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This, this, this is the only opportunity we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Odette goes first. She wedges her body through the hole, nice. widening it slightly as she goes, mm, trying to put her shoulder into it, mm, crawls up and out onto the floor. I don't know where we are. It's like labs or some shit up here. It's dark. There's no one here. Yeah. Uh, the, I'm your jo- father yeah. first. Yeah. I, there you go. Next. Mortal. Uh, climbing up through the hole, squeezing through. Odette mm-hmm. yanking mm-hmm. through. Right. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. got her gun out and is standing point. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. I got you guys covered. Hurry up. I, I go through next. You go through next. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to squeeze exactly. yourself through. Mm-hmm. You're poor, you're beautiful attire, you know. It's not going to survive this it's encounter. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, it's going to get going to get stained and it's going to get marked up. Oils. And oils yep. and, you know, streaks of rubber and dust and dirt. Not so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pull myself up through and then extend a hand down to the next person. Uh, I turn to Betty. Well, I'm not fitting through that, so... Be my guest. We're not leaving you. No, you're not. I'm gonna have to figure out some other way. Why would you even think okay. that? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Why Is would there you a start hatch the... at the top of yeah, the? Yeah, it's got to be some other way. Can we like pull it open like a little bit more while he gets through? From the other side, yeah, the easier. You have a lot more leverage from the outside yeah. than mm-hmm. you do from the inside, and so you probably can open the door wide enough for Tom, or he could go through the escape hatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you guys try to open it? Yeah, I'm absolutely. Not a we just mm-hmm. you just hear like 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 back against one side, mm-hmm. leg against the other side. <laughs> just, yeah. Uh, let's see, your strength is not great. Odette will help you. But I'm an enthusiast. <laughs> Does that help? Whoa, that's a success. We're looking for real success. That's more like it. There okay. we go. Four. Okay. All right. Together, you managed to widen enough even for Tom's broad shoulder to get through. All right. Exactly. You know, I'll, I'll reach down even though I'm probably not as sufficient as a counterweight. But I feel like it's pull you in, <laughs> yeah, and then I, I crawl up <laughs> on top of you and get out. Like a stair. <laughs> yeah. And then I reach down to grab you. Exactly. And then, and then of course, I, yeah. I produced. Mm-hmm. You are in a corridor. Um, if you didn't know better, you would say that this part of the hospital maybe isn't used a lot. There are no lights in any of the exam rooms or laboratories that you see lining the corridor. Um, and there are no signs to indicate what the heck this part of the hospital is used for. Is there a door nearby that has the stairs symbol? Far into the corridor. Yeah, there's a stairway. Stairs. With the green exit sign illuminated above it. This is precisely what we want. Headed Mm -hmm. out, okay. Odette got got her gun back out, leading the way. She's talking to your father along the way. She says, so if you're Prince Kendrick's ghoul, (laughs) then what the hell are you doing in Giovanni Hospital? Mr. Booker says, I don't, I don't think Mr. Kendrick was aware who owned the hospital. Is that true? Amanda, does, does, does Anthony Giovanni own this place? Does he run it? That's what he told me. Oh, that explains yeah. a few things. He may not be ready for uh, Prince then, maybe. Mm. Mr. Kendrick, I don't think, is aware of that fact. So you've got valuable information, Amanda. Kendrick will want to know about this. This is a chance to get in good with... The kindred, I think, will be the prince of the city. It surprises me that, that Mr. Giovanni is supporting... I'm so confused. I don't really understand what's going on here. I don't either. So let's get out of here. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't know where Giovanni lies at all. <laughs> it sounds complicated. Yeah. It does. He sticks close to you. On the way out. Stairway. Up or down? Down. Up. Why won't uh, we do it at the roof? Well, we were we were, we were oh, coming we were from the morgue yeah, yeah, yeah. to don't know the what lobby. Floor we're on. Well, I don't want to go back down oh, to the morgue. Okay, no, you're yeah. right. We're probably not at. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, we're uh, gonna learn I a lot think, very quickly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Odette charges up the stairway. Eventually, you reach the floor that's the lobby. Oh. Or you can keep cool. on going up. No, let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go uh, to the <laughs> lobby. A lot of this is his hospital, though. Yeah, this is this is where things are. The, this is where things this are is, at their rich from. You know, you got the elevator doors are going to open. We can probably see the exit. I think we should get that, out in the at lobby. the garage level. There's nah, a garage level that's down. Get down. Car. Roof and fire escape. Yeah, fire yeah. escape. That's the key. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, fire escape. Let's do it. Okay, right. She pounds on up the stairway. 
charging up. One of the great things about being undead is your muscles don't get tired. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey. There's no, uh, what is that buildup of the, the lactic acid? acid? Ah, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing to slow you down. You never get a Charlie horse. You or never a catch Tangy Leg. And um, tangy Mr. Leg. very well fit, so you should be pretty okay. He's doing all right. Your yeah. father's keeping up pretty well. Whatever the, whatever the blood, Terror. vampire blood does mm -hmm. to him seems to have, uh, have worked for his benefit. His Advantages of being a ghoul. Yeah. Okay. So you reach the topmost door. Odette's got to break it open. To get out of here. Okay. And you can find yourselves up on the hospital roof. You got a great view up here. You can see Commencement Bay. Hey, look, there's the comet. <laughs> see down into Wright Park nearby. You see the busy streets, traffic. Pretty mm. cool view. Is there a helicopter? You can, can also <laughs> see there is a helipad for landing a helicopter on the hospital roof. Okay. A big red X, but there isn't a chopper okay. here at the moment. I'm sure that you could fly it, is the only yeah. reason I. <laughs> Yeah. Taking a class, but maybe yeah, you enough. can also see the bar of Mercedes that you arrived in, and oh. there's now about eight security guards surrounding it. Oh, just hanging out, smoking cigarettes, well, messing the with their phones. Out. Okay, there is of course fire escape. It has to be by law, so you have a way down to the to the parking lot level. So, Dad, can you call someone? Call call a car. I can Bixby? call Bixby. Yeah, yeah, call Bixby. Okay, he, uh, you know. Um, where are we going to go? Well, we'll worry about that when we get the car. Yeah. All right. I don't know where we're gonna go. He I mean, steps to the side and places place. the call. Okay. It might be for the best. Okay. <laughs> you hear him ask Bixby to meet you guys all at the hospital as quickly as possible. Taking Transportation for six just... people. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not judging. judging. It's at this point where an access door several dozen yards away, opens up on the roof. And more zombies appear. Oh, fuck. oh no, Spilling out they just the door. spill out of the Tommy door? They were hard to their way up on top of the roof. Uh, let's head down? Yeah. Our only way, th like through the fire escape, right? right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, head down the fire escape? Mm -hmm. Zombies okay. can't use fire escapes, I say. That's a fact. Like it's a, yeah. Yeah. That's a known Everyone fact. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Odette, maybe not thinking clearly about uh. where she is and what you're doing, turns, drops to one knee, stands herself. No, 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 kill these things. We gotta run. And we don't want to draw police attention by firing that off and... But they're... No, no, not this time. Not this time. Fine. We'll get them next time. Fine. We'll come back. We'll save them for later. Fine. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. Fire escape. Clarence, bring down the middle of yep. fire escape. It's not possible to be silent on such a thing no. unless you try really hard and move slow. No, it's uh -uh, up to you. It's not Tom's going fast. No, gonna make, gonna make noise, which is going to attract the attention of the security guards uh, in the parking lot. You can see them pointing and saying, "Hey, <laughs> Rather have security guards than police than officers zombies. and yeah. zombies. And cops, right? Yeah. Exactly. Security guards knew already. Yeah. <sighs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Booker is breathing a little hard as he clambers down along with you. Bixby is a few minutes away. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? <clears throat> okay, so I have, uh, let's see, we have our, we have our Odette. Mm -hmm. She is with us. Sure, I can't shoot those fuckers. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. quite. Uh, I've already dealt with, uh, I have a message in to my guy. Yes, and you asked him to meet you uh, at indeed, a certain location. Where we, indeed, where we uh, so recently uh, mm -hmm. had our rest. Exactly, if you could make it there. Oh, you could are make we it close? Anywhere. Yeah, but there's, there's entrance, my understanding is that it's just a warren underneath Tacoma. There's many entrances. When you emerged from those tunnels, you of course saw how it was concealed yeah. at the street level. You might be able to quickly find an ingress. Yeah. If you, if you work at yes, it. Yes. I, I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna consider it. I mean, I'm gonna look around and consider. We're gonna consider this uh, the same way we would consider a hunting ground challenge. Yeah, so, but his sort of yes. his language that he has, like he has a very distinctive mm -hmm. way of laying things out. He does indeed. Let us say that this is a roll of. Wits, because you are thinking on your feet and trying to take in. I have those. Um, I have wits. Situation around you and awareness. Oh boy. Well, ooh, there, three. Yeah, there are worse. A, there are nice. worse pools. That's a really good pool for oh, you. You have no hunger. I, I don't. And 
I got the anodice right nice. here. Nice, and you have no hunger die. You know what I mean? So. How can you fail? We're gonna live forever! <laughs> <laughs> this is an average challenge. We're looking for three successes. Marvy. Three, four. four. Three, four successes. Five. One more. Five. 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 Five successes. Okay. Yeah. Is it like under my foot? Like it's just. <laughs> so, you reach the bottom of the fire escape, which is in the parking <clears> lot. <throat> the security guards are beginning to drift foot over. They're not in any kind of hurry. Maybe they know something. Who knows? Yeah. And you are scanning the area. You know Wright Park is important to him. Vital. So, there's got to be something nearby if he's using that regularly as a dead drop. Sure enough, you realize that. Across the street, in the park, there's one of those um, decorative cement um, maintenance buildings. So it's almost oh, like, yeah. a, like a little, a, little uh, shack. Almost like a shack, yeah. right? But this is left over from the turn of the last century. It's cement and it's beautifully detailed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's um, so almost um, it's almost a Victorian. Yeah, it's more than is strictly style. required for a shed, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it has several doors in it. If he's got an access point near here, that is likely to be it. Exactly. So I mean, this is so his style. It, it, is, it is absolutely, and so, and I also sort of know that he would, he might hide the, the uh, any unique access somewhere you in might its have to surface. Work at it, yeah, we might have to figure it out. Clank, <coughs> zombies have started to come down the fire escape. If clank, clank, zombies can use fire escape. This is not true. We didn't know. <laughs> Everything I've been taught my whole life is a lie. Unbelievable. If what we're not true? using Bixby. I say that you tell Bixby to go the other way. To crash into the lobby of the hospital and sacrifice himself. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he would do that, even if oh. we told him to. But he could be used <laughs> as a distraction. I was like, kind of, uh, I'm not there, saying it's a bad idea, Tom. Okay. I'm I am saying, saying it's a bad <laughs> idea. But, but, but Are you it's vetoing? the start of a good idea. Is this a veto? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I am suggesting uh, that you Amanda. drive through the plate glass windows in the in the anything, atrium of this hospital. Anything that would happen at hundred miles an hour <laughs> in a movie featuring Tom Cruise. Yes, Mr. Bixby should not undertake. What okay. if he just crashes into the back of our car that's parked out there? That limo where all the security guards. If he just comes up and hits that. Now they got a scene out front. I don't think Bixby would do that. This guy sounds problem. like a real dick. <laughs> yeah. I gotta be honest. Bixby would absolutely do it. See, really? I know, I knew it. He pulls out his phone, makes the call. Bixby, I need you to create a distraction in the parking lot. You'll see some security guards uh, near a silver Mercedes. Mess it up. I did no idea Bixby would do something like that. He'll this. do what I tell him to, Amanda. <laughs> yeah. I like this version of your dad better than the one shitting himself in the morgue. Yeah. Uh, we can get we into that all on. later, but could we please get out of here? But it could be an Alfred Pennyworth situation. Like, we don't know... Just how much Bixby is capable. We you know what I mean. We should, however, get underground. Yes, yes, I agree. So as soon as as soon as he uh, creates, you know, inaugurates Operation Chaos. Mm. Uh, so here's the scene: you in the parking lot, stepping away from the fire escape, the down which are descending flow. the zombies very slowly. Making their way down. They're trying very hard. This is new for them. They've yes, never done anything yeah. like this before. It's not part of their Uncharted skill set, mm -hmm. really. Security guards <laughs> taking their time. One of them actually calls out to you. Hey, hey, hold up. You, you're not going anywhere. Hang, hang on, hang on. <laughs> no. Security guard. There's a sound of a revving engine. There's a squeal of brakes. The sound of tires. Oh, failing to find purchase on Asphalt and Bixby in the SUV. Slams into the parked Mercedes. <laughs> Smash! Metal! Glass! <laughs> uh, the, sh the, the dying cry of the horn. <laughs> the car skids sideways. It actually tumbles into a couple of the security guards. Holy shit! The rest of them scatter. Hit Some of them hit the ground. Some of them run away. Run! run. Move! He would have yeah. crashed into the lobby yeah. if we had asked him. He totally, yeah. Yeah, he would have. people in there, Tom. Does that work for you? Lobby. Does that work yeah. for you? Is that what you have? Yeah, yeah that's exactly okay, what Okay, where are we going? Thanks, Mr. Booker. Yeah. We're booking. We're say, booking. This way. Uh -huh. See what you did there. <coughs> like, Across the street. Yeah, exactly. Into the park. We hustle. Yeah. That, like, fast not walking. Walk. Not waiting for the uh, walk sign to illuminate. Oh, no. We're criminals. Into Wright Park, into the... She's saying, wait, wait. 
Come on, there's zombies coming. Come on now. Just Wait. pushing the, pushing the <laughs> last time. But there's no cars going by because it's the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, come on! And yeah, yeah. When we, when we get to Seattle, Walk there's going to be a lot of yeah. on. Absolutely. <laughs> so, across the street, into the semi-concealment of the trees in the deeper shadows of the park. Exactly. You and, go. and I'm assessing it. I'm, I'm enhancing quadrant run, you know, quadrant one, for lack of a better term. Uh, as soon as we hit this thing, uh, I can see that the uh, like the decorative metalwork mm -hmm. uh, and things Scroll of that kind is already hidden. Exactly, fluted columns, wrought in cement. Mm -hmm. It's truly a truly an amazing piece of of utilita utilitary architecture. Yeah, yeah, really. It's an era. It was. It's an era. A more genteel time, mm -hmm. perhaps. Mm -hmm. Maybe a more civilized time. Uh, so first things first, just try all the doors. Just try everything. Well, they are of course locked. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But just to try. Just to make sure. Exactly. Yeah. Now, Back uh, over in the parking lot, it is pandemonium and chaos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Both the vehicles are, are destroyed. The security guards are swarming around. No one seems to know exactly what has happened. I hope uh, he's okay. Tom is noticing that, but I'm also looking to see if the zombies are crossing the street. <laughs> so the zombies have finally... You, th you don't see them on the fire escape anymore, so they must be at street level. Mm. It's an incredible risk if they're seen. Of right? It's, it's a sweeping. masquerade. Yeah. An incredible risk, if they're seen. Uh, once more, wits and awareness, Mr. Keen. Yeah. Six. If you wouldn't mind. And and no hunger. Beast. No hunger. I don't feel it. The beast is silent. I'm on a diet. Dose. Two? Dose. Two. The, I need to use the power of Grayskull. Power of Grace go. Yeah. You want to uh, burn willpower power. and re-roll up yeah. to three dice. Oh, five oh. success. Hey, five success. Five is not bad. Five is the vast majority of these dice. So, it's unfortunate, but like most surfaces in a big city, there's graffiti covering this thing. Oh. You know, someone Distance. has taken spray paint and different colors and marred it. Some of the tags are completely illegible. Uh, I'm pointing some of them, them out spell and asking out Tom, words. what does this mean? Penis. They all mean penis. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Just yeah. every surface doesn't matter. Yeah. But, oh, pretty much. Yeah. with five oh. successes, yes. it takes you a few minutes, but you realize some of the symbols aren't graffiti at all. Carefully hidden within the graffiti <gasps> are a couple of pictograms. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I call uh, Thomas's attention to this. Now, it's not good artwork. Yeah. But it's distinctly not graffiti put here with spray paint at all. Okay. It's been carefully drawn to look like it's part of the graffiti, but it isn't. It's the profile of two rats facing one another. And you think they actually might have some, some depth to it. Yeah, I'll just, I'll run my hand across them, these rats. Like in a B-grade horror movie, one of the rats depresses and clicks. And the door, which was locked, unlocks. As simple as that. Oh, so brilliant. <laughs> you really are. Yeah. Wow. That's I our know. Thomas. <laughs> All the time I'm doing stuff like this. That's I'm so impressed, cool. dude. Now, can we get the hell out of here? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Where are we going, anyway? File, file everybody in. So I, I'm going to hang back and let, make sure everybody's in first. Yeah. Mr. Booker, go in, and I'm going to shut the door behind, behind. you. Yeah, it, is, it. it is. I hear it, it click. locks okay. when you mm -hmm. shut it. Firm. Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? Would you, uh, how'd you know? Uh, <gasps> Don't tell me you live down here. No. Oh. Oh, Matt. oh, Nosferatu, oh. they sometimes live, you know, tunnels, I know, but sewers. I thought he eschewed those stereotypes. I, this is... How'd you this find is, it? Uh, know this. I have, within my repertoire, certain novel tricks. You have a, you Fine, have a, keep your secrets. He has what a Nosferatu else? friend that what showed no, us where all this stuff is. Oh. You've, you've, oh. yeah. you've truly... Oh. Punctured the persona, Thomas. There's, there's a there's a theater to all this. Oh, you found a mark. See, <laughs> kindred, you know, it's not safe to just write street signs to each other. So you're gonna you're gonna find out, Tom, that cities where we live, where kindred are, mm -hmm. there's all kinds of hidden signs mm -hmm. and letters and instructions if you know how to read them. 
You seem to know a lot about vampires, Mr. Booker. I got, I got a, uh, I got a great teacher. Mr. Kendrick has been. Have you ever heard of someone called the Angel? I believe that it's the nickname for Miss Evangeline. Yeah, I believe that too. Mm-hmm. She's, uh, she is the primogen, the leader of the Toreador clan. Of the I'm going to have to ask you to use real words, Mr. Booker, um, or we're yes, going to be done of course. here. Odette interjects. What he means is that each clan has a representative mm-hmm. that advises the, whoever's in charge, and she speaks for your clan. That's all. Oh. We call it a primogen, firstborn. It, okay. used to, it used to mean like the eldest, but nowadays it's a little more complicated than that. It means she has status, and she. Yeah, uh, girlfriend. I she do. Has, uh, well, your girlfriend. Well, I mean, we're just starting. Is anybody here not early. dating somebody? <laughs> it's not what I heard. It's not true. I mean, you saw. <laughs> you tried to this, kill that's me. That's not true oh, either. Her face does that <laughs> slow oh, waterfall. No. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, through wow. the heart. Dude, is she, is she in torpor now? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 one night. I mean, I wouldn't have done that in front of Anthony. It was what? <laughs> but you slept. I don't. I, I, I have, have a heart. So. <laughs> and he's a necromancer. Oh, yeah. Well, you know that's. Thought we had yet, something, that's yet to be No, it's explored. okay. I get it. No, I get it. I mean, I didn't. You know, mean to hurt you're a little sombra. I'm a bruja. I get no, it. No, it's not it's about thing. that. No. I understand. No, I don't it, mind. It I think it's. I find rather find your spunky bruja spirit very invigorating. She perks up a little bit at that. You know, it's seems, just she seems to she seems to take that as a sign that there is yet hope. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, 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 as we're walking through here, I'm just going to try to give them a moment. I just I put a <laughs> we're all I, arguing. I put I put a hand on uh, Odette's shoulder and I say, "You understand? You understand how it is in the early days?" I guess. I mean, <sighs> you know, <sighs> the parts we must play. And I I'm going to head on. Uh, further down into the guts try, of this. Try to find your way back exactly. to where Trans- you spent the night. Exactly. The no, and there's a few different places here. Mm-hmm. I know that if we're able to get down here and I can make my, my love connection, uh, <sighs> that I can... Well, no, what, what did we determine it was? Is it uh, Sergison? <laughs> Sergison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I call it. That's it's very ship. good. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say... I, like uh, I ship it. We, we, we can activate that. We can activate social media. Um, but we can also take advantage of uh, hopefully some of his subterranean hospitality, mm-hmm. uh, even even for a group current, as large as ours currently is. Okay, so you're making your way through these tunnels downtown, mm-hmm. walking now, fast. The uh, the tunnels themselves are fairly ordinary. Um, don't imagine like uh, brick Victorian sewers or or. St- uh, Objects like that. It's not it's a cavern. Functional, right? Yeah, these are access tunnels for maintenance workers mm-hmm. and electrical conduits. Uh, utility workers come down here. Every so often, there's the the dim light of a manhole cover at street level, and you can hear traffic rumbling by overhead. You're somewhere downtown. Yeah, here, um, and you you think you think you know where you're going. Perfect, right? Uh, oh, I, at least you hope you do. Well, I, I, I would never give any information to the contrary. <laughs> you're right. Uh, Man, yeah, I mean, I was also Tom. here. Can I help? Like, I, Tom yeah. was... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. We, we've spent the most time yeah. here, probably. It's going to take a while, but eventually you're going to come to some areas that look a little familiar. And from there, it's not too difficult to navigate your way back to the rooms where you spent the day. Not right. so long ago. Yeah, exactly. And, and Sergei has a sort of key ring mm-hmm. that he maintains all of this. Yes. So, so the access to these rooms isn't... Um, is completely gated by his ring, right? As far as you know. Yeah. As I far think as you Tom know. gave his key back. Tom did not. Yeah, yeah Tom made s- a point of keeping his key. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So once we, once we have found that, it might be nice just to get a breather, set you guys up in your room. Um, your room. My, that's my new place. Yeah. You know, I was going to say, it's, you, you suggested it was superior to your existing <laughs> I'm going to move the couple mm-hmm. items I have down here. Down here. <laughs> I have like some pizza rolls. Oh, yeah. My tattoo shit, that's it. Totinos. Just a freezer full yeah. yeah. of pizza rolls. Yeah. Okay. The so, yeah, I <laughs> opened the door. Mi casa is <laughs> The place is just like you left it. Yeah. Flawless. Caught. You don't have to take your shoes off. Um, feel free to sit anywhere you like. It's not that kind of place. It's not that kind of place. Yeah. Thank you. You've managed to find it. And you can 
Perfect. If you breathed, you could breathe easy for at least a few minutes. Yeah. Odette uh, checks the action on her gun, makes sure that it's still in working order, checks her clip. Okay, will somebody tell me what the hell is going on here? Zombies? Really? Giovanni? I stand up and your dad and I say, someone help her uh, understand. Uh, and I'm, I say, I, I have a, I'm afraid I have a, a rendezvous. Uh, I'll be back shortly. You're leaving us? For but a moment. You can take oh, anybody with you? Oh, is this about that little note you left for your friend? Potentially. Friend. Okay. Friend. Well, everybody is dating somebody. Right? <laughs> Incredible. You guys work fast. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I, I mean, I think that's cool. Um, <laughs> I support that, obviously. Faster the better. So, you um, you leave them behind. <laughs> yeah. To take their unbreathing breather. Yes. And you make your way to the room where you and Sergei sheltered from the evil day star. Yeah, indeed. It's my hope. <laughs> Just my, it, it is, it's, it's, <laughs> Yeah. It's my hope to connect. It's mm -hmm. really good. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> is there, yeah. there is a note taped to the door in an envelope. Right. I should say an envelope tape. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a, a J on the envelope. Oh, oh, oh I'm delighted. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a describe the hand uh, in which oh, it's written? Oh, um, it's a bit thin and spidery, but uh, mm. nonetheless elegant. Whoever has written it has probably practiced the penmanship. Oh, so it is a cursive like claws. J. Yeah, just this. <laughs> <it is. laughs> <laughs> like, mm, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely practiced it. Like, no doubt, there is a, a trapper keeper somewhere. With hundreds of J's, oh wow. as though produced in a uh, factory, probably all over his jeans, oh. practicing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so, yeah, I'll, I'll. Maybe he's got one of those spirograph kind of things. He could be. Yeah. Could be. Well, I'll snatch it up, uh, uh, you know, slice it open quickly with a fingernail. Smell it quickly. And then, no, and then <laughs> uh, and then produce the uh, the meat. Could be perfume. The quality of the yeah. paper yeah. is superior. Yeah. High linen con mm -hmm. high mm -hmm. linen count. Now that I will smell, right? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> it's uh, it reeks of stationery. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a right? cigar. The note is written in the same uh, spidery hand. Uh, it's very short. It simply says, "My dear and esteemed friend and colleague." Kindly make yourself at home. The key is, quotation mark, yeah. under the mat, end quotation marks. Yours cordially, and in anticipation of our reunion, <laughs> S. Perfect. Uh, I, I try to figure out what he means by mat. I see if there's, there could be, it could be a person named Matt. <laughs> hey, I'm Matt. Yeah. Oh, d d uh, if you please raise your foot for a moment, <laughs> sir. I understand there is a key to be had there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do right. I assume that means that it's down low or it's in the envelope or mm. something like that. Uh, apparently what it means is that it is um, down low near the floor. Yeah. Uh, you see um, it's sort of a conduit um, mm -hmm. for electrical cabling. Yeah. But it's pretty obvious that a small section of it has been touch now recently. That, now that I have now the... That you know what to, yeah, now uh, that you're getting how this all works. Absolutely. Well, I'll, I'll snatch it up. Yeah, and that's where the key is. Marvelous. Simply in a cylinder that looks like it should be part of the electrical conduit. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a geocache type thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, all right, I'll snatch it up. Uh, entree vous. So he, 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 make, make, make myself at home and he will materialize oh, yeah. Exactly. Soon. It's not that the key was hard to find. It's just that why would you ever think to look there? You wouldn't. You it's wouldn't. Hiding it in plain sight. Indeed. So, Indeed. Uh, within the room... Always as you left it, posh and well appointed. Yep. Except there is an addition, a little mini fridge. <gasps> and inside the mini fridge are plastic bags huh? of the red liquid that gives you life. Oh, this is, this is, I, it's this little, is, little cash. I'm going to be the life of the party. It's like really? It's a mini bar. It's a stash. Yeah, right? that's what it is for, you know, emergencies. So. I'm going to bring some back, I think. Bring some back to them. Well, yeah, yeah. As, as, as soon as I'm all settled in here, mm -hmm. I think I, I may end up feeding my friends soon. Got it. Okay. So, time passes. Not too much time, however, before Sergey knocks on the outer door. Yeah, absolutely. And I, uh, uh, on the other side of the door, uh, I say, Mr. S. Mr. K. <laughs> uh, I open it up. Mm -hmm. 
In nothing but a bathrobe. I pop the top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bathrobe? No. 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 <laughs> Not so much. Covering. Sergey bows low. Indeed. T- uh, tonight he is wearing a um, sort of off red or really maroon suit. Mm-hmm. Something maybe from the 50s with the big shoulders and a, uh, a matching fedora. Mm. Uh, it's wow. marvelous. It's vintage for sure. Oh, no, no. I, I, I invite him into his own room. Ah, too kind. Too kind. <laughs> You found everything easily enough. Uh, he, wow. Indeed. When uh, I received your missive, I took it upon myself to make this my priority. Okay. Uh, Where are your charming friends? Uh, my charming friends are sequestered, not unlike zoo animals, ah. uh, in one of the less fashionable ah. holes uh, you have provided. I took the liberty of not asking for the return of my key. Uh, I, and, and certainly that has been appreciated, even now, uh, uh, they sit with one another discussing the events of this evening, which ah. shall we are significant. To, ah, shall we invite them to dine? I would prefer if we spoke alone first. Mm. Our conspiracy. Indeed. Ah, well, mm. I am <laughs> agog to know what has occurred. I take it the consternation, the alarms and excursions across the street from my home at the hospital might be connected? If, imagine that that, uh, those festivities were a a frayed thread that one could tug upon uh, to discover uh, a sweater of terror and profundity. I await with all eagerness the unraveling of the garment of mystery. <laughs> you will find me all ears, Mr. Keen. Which is wild because he looks like an ear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he really, really does. Exactly. So, yeah. as you narrate the tale, Mr. Sergei will wait and listen with rapt attention. Okay. As it unfolds in this, <gasps> no. this very moment, no. this tete a tete. <laughs> Is where we end our vampire oh, story for now. Oh my gosh. No. Criminal behavior. <laughs>